are they, my fellow senators? How is everybody doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome back. We are diving back in with, of course, some more Life of Illusionary. And uh, yeah, I think we got some fun stuff to do. So uh, I assume most of you guys did watch the episode yesterday where we basically just kind of finished the Germanic War. We ended up taking like five castles from them, which was pretty gnarly. Um, and yeah, I, I think I want to basically, as soon as we start this episode, I want to basically just immediately go to war with the Romans to the south. We did end up crashing uh, as I was saving that last episode. Um, so I might need to do a bit, a bit more like... I might need to re-give over all the lords and stuff, if that makes sense. If you watched the last episode, it will make sense. But yeah, I might need to give over... I might need to try and recruit a bunch of the lords who aren't landed again. As that's what we did at the end of the last episode. But yeah, how's it going, Jedi? Good to see you back as always in the chat. One of the first people always in the chat, so I appreciate that. How are you doing today? Uh, is, is it... Have we convinced everyone to join us or not? It was this castle. Yeah, no, I think I think we're good. I think that autosave was pretty much there. Oh, no, okay, so it was just before this clan joined us. Okay, so we can send him a message and get him to join us, but we'll do that. We'll let more people filter in quickly. Um, yo, how's it going, um, Princess Mai? Welcome. How's it going, Mr. G? Good to back have you back. You have come indeed. Steven, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, we do really need to get married. Well, I started it, didn't I? If you watched, I'm not sure if you caught the last episode, but the actual video episode I uploaded yesterday, we did indeed, we did indeed uh, send Era our initial advances. So hopefully getting married. Could we do kind of need it as well? Because we actually kind of need companions. Like having family, family members to fill up all these companion slots would actually be really nice. Because we can't, we can only have like another one no extra companion. So we, we honestly don't have enough. So I actually think maybe getting married like really early if you can is actually not a bad idea because then you start having children and then by the time they get to this age, then maybe they'll be able to actually command. But they, they, they do age very slowly in this campaign though as well, which is also the yeah, downside. God damn, look at this dude's boulder shoulders. I am jealous of that, that mid delt right there. Woo wee. How's it going, Khan? Welcome. Um... Am I the one who... One of the clans? Um, am I in one of the clans that do PvP? Yeah, I play uh, with KOH now and again for the BRE events. I play them, yeah. Um, and I, I would love to take part in some of the uh, the big, large-scale Persistent Empire sieges. Um, but I just don't really know any big clans who would have me along the way. Like, I have mentioned it a few times and no one's reached out, so... Um, I'm just, yeah, I just don't know if any, if there's any clans who would want me along, but I'd love to do it. But yeah, how's it going, Calm? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Bro, is there a mod about Tam? I don't know what that is. I do not know what that is. Yeah, how's it going, Jake, as well? Welcome, Hancock. How you doing? Yeah, we are back playing Life of the Legionary. And uh, yeah, I think this time we want to try and basically conquer all of Rome. Uh, yeah, not sure what the issue is there, Seth. I'm not sure what your issue is. Um, because it works for me. Like, I'm just using the latest Serve as a Soldier with the Serve as a Soldier patch from the Eagle Rising Discord to stop the crash after a siege. That's really all I'm doing, so... Yeah, how's it going, Hex, as well? Welcome. How you doing today? Uh, cool, so we'll just let we'll just give people like another couple minutes to filter in. I'm gonna make some gamer subs exclamation mark subs in the chat with two P's. Uh, so, uh, gamer subs is a zero percent sugar energy drink. It's a great alternative to stuff like uh, Coke, Monster, etc. And obviously being zero sugar, so uh, yeah, a very good bonus. And it's much cheaper than those as well. In one of the uh, normal tubs, you end up getting something along the lines of I think it's like. 60 servings, which is really, really good. Um, yeah, you get like 60 servings of your chosen choice. And it tastes great as well. It's the best tasting gamer energy drink I've ever had. And they're kind enough to support, uh, sponsor the channel. So exclamation mark sups in the chat. Use code Jackie Fish. You save yourself 10% off. Um, and I'm always happy to recommend the flavor if you're trying it for the first time. Hmm. 
Yo, killer, how's it going, man? How was your Easter weekend? Cool. Let's, uh, yeah. So let, let's, 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 let's. So I think I also need to, yeah, rebuild the army a little bit as well. Because, yeah, we just finished our war in the north against the Germanic people. That was a harsh winter. Um, and we, but we came out on top, right? We took this castle from them. We retook this uh, rebellion. We took this and this. Yeah, it was three castles and reclaimed that, which was nice. Yeah. They're still, like, really glitched out. I'm not really sure what's wrong with these guys. Um, so I might try and sort them out as well quickly. Carol is like Belisarius. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, I want to, like, just, yeah, sort him out. What if I change? I don't really want to change anybody. Um, yeah, why are you so messed up? Corvus the boar. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me TP over here and see if I can... Oh, our messenger has arrived to this guy as well. We'll talk to him quickly. It's been... How's it going good, sir? The nice thing is a lot of these Romans actually really like me a lot because obviously we served alongside them in many a Germanic war. So they're, you know, they're pretty inclined to join me. Um, and especially if we pick off the, like, the easier ones. And our charm is, what, like 300 now? So we can basically just insta-pass all of these. This guy is, what, 1.7 million votes? So he's definitely a more expensive lord, but... I'm hoping I can get to a point where my kingdom basically runs itself, you know? Um, so I'm just going to TP over here quickly. So we can see what's up with this glitch happening. So it's Boris the Boar. Right? Is he here? In the keep, probably, right? Boris the Boar. This guy? No. It's not that guy, right? No, it must be. What the hell are you doing, my friend? Let, what if I give him some troops? Maybe that'll sort him out. Because maybe he's like too scared to leave. You can have all them crappy archers. Yeah, just take all these low tier soldiers. I don't want. Something like that. Because then at least I can maybe uh, just grab his soldiers as well. Uh, cool. So let's just TP back to where we were. We just swung out that glitch. Okay, cool. Um, just working? Oh, that's a shame. Shame you didn't get to enjoy it. But at least the weather, I mean, at least the weather here was pretty crap. So I assume the weather was also probably bad where you were. Uh, is this continuing on from the episode series? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, continuing on straight away from last episode. Um, we did crash a little bit towards the end, so we lost a little bit of progress, but nothing we can't just crab back. And I mean, look at this village right here. Any Roman would be proud to be this village. The ultimate training camp. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my lord, that's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's quite expensive, right? 2,500 gold, but yeah, some of the best recruits Rome has to offer. Uh, we already... Oh, no, we, what we also need to do as well is we also need to give that guy a castle. What castle were we going to give him? Something over here, right? Yeah, I think we're going to give him this castle. Because we need to make sure that he's happy. And obviously, they have no land as well. Um, Grant Firth, and I think it's... Basically, our only castle now. Yeah, this this is literally our only castle. You're in episode 10? Oh, yeah. So you're going to be quite a ways off then. Um, yeah. So I, I think up until around about like episode 18, uh, then we go into a lot of uh, streaming campaigns as well. So there's like, make sure, I mean, they're all in the playlist. So as long as you follow the playlist, you'll be absolutely fine. But yeah, just make sure you don't get caught off guard by that. I also stopped numbering the episodes around like episode 15 or something. Just because I think it's better for YouTube uh, in general. So... Because, yeah, I think, you know, people who are interested in the series are obviously going to still click on it. The people who aren't interested in the series, there's no way they're going to click on, like, an episode 16. So I was just like, I'm just not going to name name the episodes anymore. Okay, so everybody is in desperate need of rebuilding their armies. Yeah, look at that. I don't know why these guys are so battered. Yeah, like, I like, are these guys, like, still just glitched out? I feel like everybody's glitched out in this castle, you know? Maybe I need to get a bunch of soldiers, go over there, fill up everyone's party, and that'll sort them out. Or maybe a war will initiate. Like, maybe a war will kick it off. But I, I want to make sure that I do go to war before uh, we end up getting attacked by the Germanic tribes again. 
So yeah, ideally, let's do a checklist. Let's do a checklist today of what we want to accomplish. So I want to, I think we're going to fight one war and one war only. And we're just going to blitz conquer all of this. Because it's realistically not that much, right? It's one city, one, two castles, uh, and then uh, like three castles. So it's two cities and three castles. And the Germania, sorry, the Romans don't really have much in the way to stop us. So we should be okay. Yeah. Let's also uh, send Era another message to kind of just uh, finish up that marriage proposal. And then we also want to make sure that we try and steal these last clans as well to join us. Um, so let's do that. So Knollii, there she is. To be fair, though, this woman is actually way better. Is this like Era's sister or something? She is amazing. Yeah, this she's actually way better than Era. Yeah, like, okay, I'm I'm gonna change my uh, I'm gonna change my marriage proposal. I think because she actually seems way better. Now, if only we could have multiple wives. Now, that would be something. Okay, I'm just going to recruit as many people as we can because I'm going to be taking this army anyway over to the other place and filling out everybody's armies who are seemingly stuck here. Yeah, I don't know what's happening there, but it seems like half the army is just stuck. How's it going, Vasilla? Welcome. Welcome, my lady. Oh god, I don't know why I just clicked. Um, I might, my lady, I must profess you myself. She, she does like me as well. Uh, yes, we are considering offers. These things are not to be rushed. Um, I wish to offer you my hand in marriage. Uh, we will meet from time to time as it is custom to see if we are right for each other. Okay, cool. How can I make Eagle Rising with RBM? Uh, you just use RBM. RBM is now uh, mandatory with with Eagle Rising, I believe. Along with the you no, know, the Europe map is the Europe map mandatory now. I'm not sure if it is. I think it will be from this patch onwards. Someone clip pants. <laughs> clip it and ship it, boys. Um, then you're best off asking over on the Eagle Rising Discord, my friend. I'm sure they'll be able to help you there. Okay, let's get our asses over here. Oh my god, that place rebelled again. Like, what an absolute joke. I mean, we'll finish them off, but yeah. It's just so annoying, these rebellions. I and mean, there's like nothing I can really do. Okay, let's just start giving some people soldiers. I don't know who you are, actually. Can I give, like, random people soldiers? I can't, right? Oh, my God. No, it has to be, like, my companions, which is fine. We can do that. Are any of my companions even here? Cool. Let's outfit her with some extra soldiers. Oh, God. No one to give you a prisoners. However, I should probably recruit these prisoners and give them over. That would not be a bad idea, actually. Okay, she has 70 men, so we should be able to now grab her soldiers. You, you're also one of my companions, right? Yeah, let me inspect your soldiers. They look really bad just because they don't have as, as many uh, troops in there. I don't have, like, good civilian clothes. Okay, cool. Now let's leave. Now let's build up our army again. So, I don't know where. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, half these companions. Are just so trash. Is anybody else in here? We are also on the lookout for a new companion as well. Uh, light cavalry. We'll take the mercenary light cavalry for sure. Will everybody else join me up? I'm at 
actually awesome. He looks awesome. Look at him. Um, yeah, he just apparently doesn't have enough men, so let's just give him some. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter what who has what if they're all in my army, so let's just give you all of that. And then join my army. Cool. Nice. Okay, cool. So we have a majority of our soldiers. Oh, we are also struggling for food. So let's just go back there. Let's grab some food. And apparently there's someone the falchion here as well. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so it's you again. I thought I just gave you a bunch of soldiers. I gave you 73, apparently not enough. Um, I don't really want to give you all my, my amazing soldiers, but I don't really have much left. But I guess it doesn't really matter if you're just going to be in my army anyway, right? No, it's Zimmerdar the falchion. Okay. Zimmerdar, it's him. I think if I get these guys away, then they're way more likely to join me, which is nice. Um, yeah, screw it. Just have a bunch of my good soldiers. Why not? Because it's all going into my army anyway, so it's too many. My party is severely undermanned now, but we'll be okay. Okay, cool. So we have 700 men, all the boys. Uh, chilling. Let's go punish these traitors and then immediately declare war on the Romans in the south. Uh, well, I will probably immediately. Well, yeah, I'll, well I want to make sure that we kill. Oh, I've, got, I've got food again. God damn it. These guys only have 300 men, though, so it's fine. This should be a quick siege. We'll put these guys to the slaughter quickly. Um, yeah, they annoyingly, they have the artillery and stuff. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, it sucks. But yeah, I, I agree. I don't think there is a mod that does increase battle size. It's up to date and working, which is a real shame because I would love to add the, the mod to add 2,000 people to this to this save. I think it'd be really good to add like a larger... Even if it went up to like 1,500, I think that'd be really cool. But yeah, it doesn't look like there is a mod that exists. That lets, uh, lets us do that. Which sucks. Because how cool would it be, right? Because I think the main reason, not just for the larger scale battles, but mainly just for more tactics, right? I feel like the more soldiers you have, the more cool tactics you can actually do. And I'm lucky enough to have a computer that can actually like handle it as well, so. God, sorry. What? They build back the artillery so quickly. I can't believe how quick they build that. Okay, cool. I think we're just good to go like this. Right, they have no artillery. We have a ram. We might take some casualties. They have nothing bombarding us. We have artillery hitting them. Yeah, let's drop a save and then let's leave the assault. I've kind of found that um, Rome to total war. I've kind of found that making saves seems to sort out the crashes a bit. For some reason in 1.2.9, like, like saves just get really corrupted. I don't know what the issue is. But yeah, so we just try and avoid it as best as we can, I think. So obviously we still have the ladders to go up as well. Um, oh, we have everybody in one squadron as well. I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Because they have no artillery to stop us, but... Yeah, I guess we just wait until the uh, position is overrun. That's funny. Yeah, this is the army from the, the breach previously. Are you guys charged now? Oh, yeah, I split them out into archer groups. That's it. Let's see if we can get up here. I also have no idea why I only have 25 FPS. It should sort itself out momentarily. The nice thing is, this is all militia, right? Boys, you're going to get... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're going to get up here before they even get their infantry here. There's obviously some big pathfinding issues somewhere because the game does not like this one bit. Yeah, it's probably something to do with all that infantry groups and the AI is trying to sort out what they're doing. Uh, maybe if I split this infantry group up a little bit. Our 
And I send that like over here or something to the gate. Maybe that will help out a bit. Oh no, lol JK, sorry, I forgot that the AI doesn't actually listen to you. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that the AI just ignores you no matter what. Again, I don't know if that is like a, an RBM thing, so I will actually not talk some mad smack about tail welds because that could that could realistically be an RBM feature. Not a feature, but an RBM bug, and I've been bad mouthing tail welds because of it. But realistically, it could be either either one. Um, so yeah, this battle. I don't know why I have 12 FPS. Uh, seemingly only does this when the AI is a bit of a having a bit of a hard time pathfinding. Oh no, they are going now. So like, why did it take them so long to go? I don't know. We're, we're, we're happy. We're happy, boys. We're not complaining. We're not being negative Nancys. Oh, yeah. The pushing down the ladder was ridiculous on some of the settlements. You just literally stood no chance. It yeah, splits our way down here. We're already making good progress. And you can already see the bands of power bar as well, right? But they really do not have much in the way of armor on these guys whatsoever. I think if we if if someone did make a battle size mod, I, I hope that there was an option to turn it off for um, sieges. I feel like sieges being 2,000 men is maybe a bit much, and obviously you can see that the AI does have some issues anyway. So I think it'd be cool to have like a 2,000 man. There we go. Like look at that. As soon as a pathfinding fix, we just immediately go back to however many frames. Like, oh my god. That's actually insane how much my eyes have just, like... It, it looks like... It literally feels like I've just, like, rubbed my eyes after a long sleep and I can see again. Oh my god. That's crazy. God, are we pushed through here yet? Everybody charge as well. Yeah, the gate still isn't really under our command yet. I would like to change that if I can. I don't have a shield. What? Who killed my shield? Oh, that was way too high. But this is this is literally just like a minor a minor attack that we're doing. Like this is not a big battle, so we're just looking to quickly clear these guys out. This is just a rebellion that we have to deal with. And I guess what we do uh, is we. Just show mercy to the settlement. That should reduce the... Uh, like that should reduce the... The loyalty debuff. One thing that would be so cool... Uh, is if you could actually like make these guys into a vassal. That would be so awesome, right? And I imagine you could do it. Because like you just make it so that they're like always at peace with you. They're in, a, they're in an alliance with you. And they can't rebel and they pay you tribute. Like, I imagine that would be something that you could actually do in, in this game, in, like, in the diplomacy mod. Because I would love to be able to make this settlement I've just taken into a vassal, you know? So then I don't have to deal with, with these rebellions and the different cultures. How long will the stream be? I don't know. We've just started. Yo, Squiddy, how's it going, my man? Welcome. It's weird seeing your name in blue. I don't like it. I don't like the power that you have now. <laughs> How you doing, mate, today? Nice. Oh, nice. My relation with the Squid Lords increased. I think I just rescued some of your people, Squiddy. Uh, okay, I don't think I want any more prisoners because we are pretty much at our limit anyway. Uh, no, you haven't missed anything. We, we literally have just started, really. We, we've just conquered this little rebellion that has cropped up. Um, yeah, and I think we will show mercy. Um, because this does hurt loyalty. So let's just do that. We don't want it. And there you go. The settlement is 100% loyal. I think that's because we've just conquered it. But it's obviously got a major drift as well. But hopefully that sorts itself out. 
cool. We need food. So, I mean, I doubt this conquered settlement will have food, but we all... Oh, they actually... Oh, they, have a, they have a bit of cheese. A bit of cheese. So let's give that over. Uh, yeah, and they definitely do not have enough. Trying to make some money here. Yeah, okay. We have, like, millions of pounds worth of equipment. Okay. That'll pay for our cheese, I guess. Okay, cool. So they're conquered now, which is great. We'll give this over to whoever we're, we're going. Um, I, I can't remember who had it last... Yeah, I think this guy had it last time. He lost it last time, so I don't know if he deserves to have it again, but... Oh, yeah. One thing I wanted to do as well. Let me delete that. Yeah, delete that browser source. Delete that. Uh, I wanted to add a member goal back to the stream. Now that we're really kicking membership back up, I thought it'd be cool to have, uh, yeah, a membership goal again. Member goal. Uh, is this? This is not what I want, though. Yeah, that's not what I want. I just want text, man. That's all I need. All I need, I don't need any of these fancy stuff. Hold on, I'll do that whilst we're, whilst we're marching. Um, <laughs> well, I still owe you guys stuff for the last member goal we hit. I still owe you, owe you guys that, that maid stream, but maybe what we'll do is we'll do that when Mana Lords comes out. Because I've been kind of saving it uh, for, for a, you know, a, a Mana Lord DLC or something special rather than just our, our normal streams. Um... But I don't think, uh, I don't think Total Wars, I mean, I don't think Tail Wars are ever going to come out with a. Uh, if I just text, can I? Oh, here we go. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've done this. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I supposed to be pressing? I swear there's a really easy way to do this. Yeah, here we go. Oh god. Ah, ignore that. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry, I'm getting there. Uh, I need... Oh my god, we've already made it home. Okay, cool. So what we'll do is I will grab up as many soldiers as physically possible. And then it's war in the south, I think, will be cool. God, where is members? Oh, here we go. Got member, gifted members. Don't want that. I just want total members. Members, members, members. I must be blind. Where the hell are members on this list? Hold on, I'll, I'll deal with that in a second, okay. Cool. So, yeah, so what we're gonna do is like, my army is basically broken, so we wanna try and grab as many soldiers from the surrounding areas as I can. Mercenaries are good as well. Um, we also have all of our prisoners, which we probably should look to recruit. Yeah, we'll look to recruit them. Then we'll go to our garrison. We'll give everybody over. Because remember as well, I need to fill up all my other boys' stuff as well. So let's grab up all our best soldiers, obviously. 
Nope, game did not like that. The game was like, no, Jackie, you may not to do that. Hey, how's it going, Sure, Welcome. Good to see you in the stream. How you doing? Um, I love your content, Jackie. Do I have to watch both the live streams in order to watch the new episode? I am a bit lost on how to keep up. Uh, yeah, the playlist. The playlist should have all the episodes in. Uh, so yeah, the live streams are part of it. Um, though, I feel like with the live streams, a lot of the time, you can just watch them on two times speed because I am yapping to like in bit like like doing what I'm doing exactly now. You know, it's not exactly the same as a... Uh, as a as a normal episode where I'm kind of much more to the point. So yeah, so I, what I would do is just make sure you follow the make sure you follow the the playlist. But yeah, them live streams are a part of it. But the playlist should be completely uh, in order for you. Oh my god, I've just seen how many members Swedish is gifted. That is crazy. So I'm trying to sort out... Um, I'm trying to sort out... Uh, I don't want the gifters. So I'm just trying to sort out this member goal. But I guess I can just do stuff whilst I do it. How many of you gifted? Uh, I'm not sure. It, it was just top gifted member on that list. So I, I actually can't see at the moment. I just felt like there was such an easy way of doing it last time. Do I have it like set up here? A tool? Anywhere? Do I have it like on any of these lists at all? I don't. No. Yeah, no idea. Um, Give me a second. So what were we doing? So we're all the way back here again. Okay, cool. So let's march. So we'll march back over, we'll build our armies again, and then it's a straight up declaration of war. <laughs> Squiddy, I don't think any of us, I don't think any of us want to know the answer to that. But I very much do appreciate all the support. Yeah, I don't know if I'm, like, blind here. So I'll just show you guys. This is what I'm looking at, and I'm looking for, like, mem total members, and I just can't see it at all. Like, am I blind? I don't think I am, right? Like, monthly tippers, total subscriber count. These are subscribers, not members. Total sponsors... Super chats, super chats and donations, chats, super chatters and donations, super chats again. Gifting, that's not what we, we don't want gifting, we want members. Yes, yeah, like donations. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, 
Uh, cool. So now we're back here again. Let's re-recruit our army. Let's uh, let's go to the tavern, get their mercenaries again. Uh, and I feel like the garrison heal actually wasn't that good. So let's head down south and go to Massalia. The garrison of Massalia should be a bit bigger. I guess we'll keep the garrison as well around for the sake of it. Um, so let's go to the keep. Let's go to the garrison. They don't really have anyone either. Wow. Okay. So like everybody is just like really out of stock. I guess we could head down to Rome and just hit all these cities along the way. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I leveled up as well. God, I haven't leveled up in a long time. So what do we stick these points in? Tactics going to be a bad one. Problem with leveling tactics, I mean, it is pretty good. But we don't have any of this stat, like, at all. And I think we just, I think we honestly just continue to level up riding because we have the most endurance. We can go up to seven endurance now if we wanted to. Hey, how's it going, Yava? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? So yeah, let's let's go on a bit of a mass recruitment spree. And yeah, then as we make our way south, oh my god, these guys, yeah. I guess we'll hit the garrison at Rome because Rome should be pretty safe realistically, right? Yeah, the garrison at Rome should be very safe, I think, at this point. We have plenty of recruits and they're leveling up as well. And remember, we gave a lot of our good soldiers over to our companions as well, so. And we'll, we'll fill up our army in Rome. Oh, yeah, what we should do as well, quickly, before we uh, before we do declare war on them. Again, it's been a couple of days. We should hit up Milady, Vasilla. How's it going, my future wife? That's what we should do for sure. Whew. So, has anybody been playing any interesting games recently out of interest? Is there anything I should be checking out or any any games that you've, like, kind of rekindled your love for? I've, um, I've recently really got into... Did she say no or did she... Yeah, I didn't click it. Oh, my God. She just straight up denied me. What? I don't think I've ever seen her say that. How dare you? She was just like, no, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, wow. I mean, fair enough, but... Okay, well, um, I think we're going to look for someone a bit better, you know. Oh, my God, he knows so many people. I can't believe that. What about Zona? Oh, I don't even know her. I can't believe I just got rejected like that. It's like real life all over again. Just straight up, we're not compatible. Maybe she already got married in that time. Like, maybe I missed my opportunity. for a fallen brother just like me for real like what the hell actually just happened i feel like i've never ever seen the ai actually ever do that before did she like maybe get married to someone else she was such a good character as well no she's not even married to anybody i can't believe you've rejected me like this yeah, you've got bad stats. Oh my god, look at her arms. Marry you. Okay, I mean, you haven't got bad stats, but you're not as good. Major F in the chat for me, boys. God damn, this lady is good. Is she already married, though? She probably is, right? Yeah, she's already married. Oh, God, all these Roman women breaking my heart. It's not worth it, boys. It's not worth it. Maybe we should go for a nice Carthaginian babe. I mean, there's a lot of other, other high-value females, I imagine, in the Gallic Rome area and also in the Spanish area. <laughs> so we could go over there. Um, but I also do want to just kick off this war. Like now. We need to buy some food at Rome. We need to resort out our armies at Rome. 
Okay, perfect. Cool. So let's let's make a save. This will be the pre-war save. Pre-war save. <laughs> yeah, how's it going, Cam? Welcome. Uh, yeah, no. All I care about is stats. All I care about is stats. That's what I did IRL as well, you know. Before getting married in a couple months, I'm like, what stewardship level do you have? Because realistically, that's all that matters. Okay, boom. We got a, a thick old garrison here. So I'll take all the high tiers. Yeah, I and mean, we can still have so many more. We'll take the archers, the cavalry, obviously, will all join me. And we're a little bit over. Which is fine, because I can give these soldiers to other people. I mean, she can, she can hear me when I'm talking, so... She can hear me. Uh, that guy's a few too many soldiers. Okay, I think we're I think we're ready now. I think we're ready to go to war, so let's do it. Uh let's go trade. Uh let's sell the crap that we have, because I know we have a lot of rubbish here. Yeah, literally 160 grand we just made. I mean, let's just literally buy all this food as well. <laughs> She's always listening. God, well now, now that I'm declaring this war, I don't feel bad. This is a war of heartbreak. She has amazing stewardship as well, but she's obviously, yeah, married. I can't believe that you did that to me. She's not even married. She's just like, no, we ain't a great fit, unfortunately. Uh, let's muster some other armies as well. Yeah, let's just muster the fattest Roman army. And we're just going to blitz them. Yeah, no, she just straight up does not love me. I mean, I guess it's fair enough. I guess it is fair enough. Like, and it's going to be fair enough. I'm going to now ruin your entire clan. I'm going to burn it to the ground, you know? There will be no mercy. <laughs> there will be simply no mercy for you. Okay, cool. So let's declare war. Um. Oh, I actually don't have enough in... Oh, the, the boys do. Can I declare war with a leader we are friends with? Sorry, What? Cannot declare war with a kingdom you're friends with. What does that even make sense? Sorry, I'm friends with you, so we can't go to war. I guess it's probably a restriction for the AI, you know? It's probably like an AI restriction. And the game got rid of all my influence when I made peace with the ghouls. Um, I mean, I can just declare war the old-fashioned way, right? I can declare war the old-fashioned way. Surrender or die, attack. <laughs> there we go. I think we'll we'll lose some friends, but that's about it. An unjust war. <laughs> Sorry, I know we're friends and all, but I want to take some land. I know we're friends. Oh god, I'm not building. It's a position reason to marry a noble? I I'm the goddamn emperor! I'm the emperor! <laughs> I'm a higher position than she is! She has no right to decline me marriage! No right! <laughs> And I feel I feel like I'm way I'm I'm way too upset. I'm way more upset than I should be <laughs> about being declined by a virtual woman. Oh yeah, the castle in the north as well. 
Don't worry, if we hunt her down, I'm going to put her in a prison and force her to marry me. Just like what I'm doing in real life. Wait, what? The crazy thing is as well, is like they can't even muster an army to stop me doing this as well. I, do I, I doubt they can even muster an army to stop like any of this. Right, let's make a ram. It looks like the gates are already open though. Maybe this is the city model. Like, they have such few troops that they really can't even stop me doing this. Uh, do we want to... Let's just make some siege towers and let's just go the old-fashioned way. Like, look at the balance of power. We'll be fine. Okay, let's make sure we destroy the last of their artillery. Cool. Oh, I got one more. Cool. Oh, I got one more. Come on, destroy it, please. Oh, my God. I keep on building more. God damn. And destroy the last of their artillery so I can attack. I just don't want them having any, you know? Okay, there we go. Good. Drop a save and then let's go. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I did just steal their last two clans outside of like mercenaries. I think they have like one more clan supporting them. So it's such a small faction now. Um, I should probably split up this infantry as well a bit. Give them some lords and some leaders to fight with them. All right, boys, forward, unleash hell. Look at the city as well. God damn, it's a beautiful imperial city. Is it this one? I can't remember what one it is to shoot. Is it this one back here that gives the order? Get out of my way. No, I don't want to shoot the artillery. I could go full Bollywood style and actually get in the artillery piece, you know? It's not this one. Yeah, I think it is this guy on the front. Get out of the way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Oh my god. You guys are really getting on my last nerve here. Let's see if we can, like, hook the shot just over the wall. And hit the men below. Doesn't look too good there. Let's see about that. Ah, oh, no. We hit the defences. That's fine. Let's get up there now. Forward, boys! Let the artillery keep on bombarding absolutely nothing. But, I mean, the forces they have here are so minimal. They literally just have, like, militia. That we're going to be able to quite quickly overrun the defenses here. Throw some peeler in. Through the arrow slits. I say that. This should be a fairly decent, like, setup of a settlement. Because this is still, like, a Roman settlement. It's been untouched for quite a while, realistically. Pick up a few of these ammunition, extra ammo. Any more javelins we can throw in? Uh, we can maybe try and make that shot. The guy's now hiding. I respect it. Right, cool. Gates down, forward. I imagine we're doing just as good up on the walls. A little bit worried about anybody popping in here with some rocks. Start slicing this down. I mean, as soon as the gate goes down, we'll just blitz the, the settlement. Yeah, oh my god, look how few soldiers they have here. They have a lot, they have like a good archer position set up.
There you go. Some Germanic mercenaries in here as well. Ouch. Yeah, we just literally, yeah, any unarmored targets just go down immediately when we're fighting them with this Pelum because it does bonus damage in the head as well, so. Forward, boys. Yeah, cool. So, I mean, this is going to be a lightning war, I think. I think they're going to be able to muster, like, a army, but it's not going to be able to match mine. And the fact that we have 1,600 men ready to go, we can basically just, like, blitzkrieg them. Then I wonder what happens when we take all their settlements. I guess the clans just go join other factions. <laughs> this guy just having a little javelin off. Now I'm doing no damage to him. How do they still have so many soldiers? They still have 200 men left. Where are all their soldiers? Hey, how's it going, team? Welcome. So you couldn't make it in time? No worries, dude. We're, we're just getting into it. So basically, for anybody just joining us now, uh, we started off the campaign doing a few things that I missed. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? Is that like confetti down there? Bodies? I don't know what that is. That looks horrific. Oh, is this the leaves, maybe? Yeah, I think it's the leaves glitching out a bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so basically what we've done is we dealt with the rebels in the north. We took that settlement and gave it back to whoever should have had it. We then uh, reformed our army. I got rejected by a beautiful lady. Uh, and then we declared war back on the Red Romans, which should realistically be a pretty quick war. Just because they really don't have much left. Forward, brave warrior. I know you're bleeding, but get into the fight. Yeah, it's the leaves. I don't know why they're like purple, but they are. I did indeed look her up for her stats. She had very good stats as well. She had some of the best stats I've seen in the game. It was a real sad day. Got any other soldiers just chilling? That's just pouring in. Ouch. Oh, I'm getting charged. Hello. Luckily, I swing my sword faster than you swing your sword. But then I can pick up your shield. And kick him off. Kick him off. Kick him off. Hey. Sorry, where are all these javelins coming from? But I wish I could just like tell the art. Okay, some guys are coming up here. I wish I could more easily tell soldiers to come up in this passageway. Nice. Good job. Go finish up the last remnants of their forces. Yo, Carl. How's it going, man? Welcome, 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 welcome. How you doing today? Is that all of them? One left. Control, shift, F4. Boom. Oh, maybe it's this. Event list. Is it this? 
And that's event list. I don't want event list. How am I so stupid at trying to get a member goal on the screen? There's a Squiddy's 10 gifties there, but that's cool. <laughs> Bosh. Uh, cool, lots of prisoners. This will be one of the good things about this war as well. Is we're going to be able to grab a lot of prisoners just to help fill out our army. Yeah, I mean, I literally can grab all of these soldiers to help fill out the army. I'm actually a little bit over encumbered. That's fine. Whatever. 2,000 damage? Well, I just did 2,000 damage? Do not believe it. Okay, cool. So I think I will take this settlement for myself. And I might give it to a new clan. So what we're doing as well for anybody just joining us or maybe you've missed the past couple streams. I have a handful of companions I can make into clan leaders. Um, so yeah, if you guys want a clan, I'm going to be giving out to people who gift five gifted members. Um, and then I'm going to be giving out. You can name the clan you want to. And that's how we're going to be doing it right there. Just as a little thank you to anybody for supporting the channel in that way but just remember the best way to support the channel is by just dropping a like and a comment down below and talking in chat i really do appreciate that so nice that's napoli's take and remember yeah as you guys said i do need to come up here and take this castle but we could also just keep them alive you know keep them alive up here in the alps could be kind of funny and we're just yeah we're just gonna march we have food we have water let's just go south we'll go bang bang we'll take these castles in quick succession There's Era. Era, my love, come back! <laughs> oh, we'll trap the Empress inside of his castle. Why not? Okay, let's set the castle under siege. So yeah, let's put up the artillery. It should be quick enough. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> I just... I, I'm not having a literal brain meltdown here trying to figure this out. Let's just go on Streamlabs and see if there's a... Like, it was literally just like a text. Well, this is like text. And it had a number. So and so. It just basically showed my goal. It was like text it had. I am truly lost. <laughs> right, cool. We're just going to give up on it. Uh, especially with all our artillery in reserve as well. Give you four clan names, Squiddy. Woo! Trying to, trying to, trying to bump a bunch of members. Oh, you're picking one. Nice. There you go, guys. Go vote in Squiddy's poll. And you might get lucky enough to uh, to get yourself a clan in the game. That's almost harvesting season. Yo, Carl, come on. It would be 10 gifted members. 
Holy god damn Thank you so much for 10 gifties. I really appreciate that Carl. Thank you so much. It helps out the channel massively We have a very expensive wedding coming along in a couple months. <laughs> I really do appreciate that God damn do you not want do you not want a clam for yourself Carl? Make sure to drop some hearts in the chat for Carl. Dropping the 10 fat gifted memberships. Really appreciate that. You have no name ideas? So we'll have the artillery. Remember, the Empress is literally in this castle. And look at how little she can actually muster as well. Only 52 men. It's pretty embarrassing, honestly. Oh, I found it. I found how I did it. I found how I did it. I found my old one. Huzzah! I don't know where it is, though, on the screen. Where is it? Yeah, we're just sieging as well. What if I, like, duplicate it? Now I don't know how to get it off the screen. Like, it's really far away and I can't, dr I can't grab it anymore. Uh, we should make a battering ram as well. I can click control? No, that one doesn't work. How do I now get this back down? I don't know where it is. Oh, no, I didn't find that. Must be alert box. Uh, I guess I could just... So what is it? It's a... It's a text file? It's a source? Oh, it's, to it's called sponsors. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why they just don't call it members, but okay. Okay, we did it, boys. We did it, finally. Sorry it took me so long to figure that out. Find a normal font now. Oh my god, I can't find a normal font. I'm going to lose my mind. Where's the one I normally use? What am I using here? Alpha Slab one. Boom. Okay, cool. Font size. Boom. Cool, we'll just leave it up like that. Cool. Oh, 
Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, sorry. Let me catch it back up in chat. Let's obviously speed through this as well. Start smashing down their equipment. We'll make sure we build a catapult just for a bit quicker. And I think I will just make a breach in the settlement to make it uh, go down. Sorry. Cool. Thank you so much, Cole. I really do appreciate the uh, membership goal, dude. Uh, the memberships. Uh, 10 members is a lot. I really appreciate that. Thank you. So you're, you're going to let um, you're gonna let Squiddy and Matt do on his poll. Okay, let's go now. They, they have an artillery piece. Let's make sure we kill that first. Yeah, cool. Let's go then. Leave the assault. Because if you conquered Britain, uh, Britain would be uh, one that we would probably take on a little bit later in the campaign, I think. Uh, cool. Oh, what the hell just happened? Uh, okay, so we have a breach on the far left. I'm just going to literally put all the boys in one formation and we're just going to blitz left, I think. There's no reason not to. We'll avoid this entire outer keep and just go through here. I think it's the way to do it. Oh, yeah. I, sieges are an awful part of Banner Lord. They really are. They're just, yeah. The AI just doesn't really know what the hell's going on. Granted, it's better than Warband. You know, Warband is a game that where you just got one ladder. But still, for 10 years, it's not really that much better. <laughs> uh, yeah, just let me know the names, uh, Guy, Carl, when you've, uh, when you've decided on it. And we'll, we'll make some new clans. Really appreciate that. I don't know, we're actually only 11 off of 300 members. Should be a pretty juicy target to hit. Right, so we're going to sit up here. And I'm going to tell these guys to fire at will. And let them throw their javelins in. I'm not sure how many. Yeah, that's actually pretty. Yeah, okay. They're getting their javelins perfectly set up there. A few javelins are going in over there. But the majority of them are going where we want them to be. I mean, it also it also just matters depending on like what we do, like how long this series goes depends on the support it gets. You know, if this series continues to get viewers and and people enjoying it, like I'm conti I'm, I'm happy to do a goddamn world conquest if people want. You know, as long as people keep on watching, I don't mind. Um, but yeah, the plan is to probably beat Carthage and then end the campaign then. Okay, we'll charge now. We basically use all our javelins. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how long that actually you know takes to complete. Okay, we actually oh we do have a shield. Nice, cool. Yeah, let's push in now. Nice, good kills. We should be able to just use weight of numbers to break here. But as I said, like, you know, if people keep on watching this and we keep getting like good viewers and stuff, like. I'm happy to continue this on for as long as you guys want to see it, you know? So Praetorian Guard here I'd very much like to deal with. His armor is very thick though, but there you go. Boom, he's down. That should make our life a little bit easier now. And we're, we're, we are breaking through this. We're about to crush this flank. If we get around the left flank, then we immediately wrap up their lines. Yeah, there you go. We've kind of broken in here now. And as you'll see, we'll start to like really break through. Yeah. The thick wall of purple shields is moving. Yeah, look at that. The boys are free. Charge, charge, charge. Oh, Alex, you might be able to help me with this as well. Um, actually, I was going to ask him the Discord, but considering we're in chat, can you uh, can you help me with the Battle Link mod? Um, like to get it get it working. Because yeah, if you guys don't know, and I, I think this is this is worth a pause because this is a cool mod that a lot of people would be very interested in. Uh, Battle Link, I think it's called. Yeah, this mod here. So it's basically a, a, a mod 
that lets you uh basically a mod that lets you play your single player battles in a multiplayer server with friends so it's kind of like a multiplayer campaign but just for battles and the person whose campaign it is can then go back and continue on his campaign with the battle results if that makes sense um but i, I like, obviously need someone to help me test it and stuff um because I, like, this seems like a really, really cool mod, but like no one's talking about it, right? So it confuses me like, like does it actually work? The comments seem to say it does. But yeah, I, I think the main problem is it doesn't really have a great, uh, it doesn't really, oh my God, there's the Empress herself. I'll cut through her guards. Foul wench. This could have been different, milady. This could have been different. Take that. Get her, boys. Yeah, I took her down. That's the bloody whatever she was called who refused to marry me. Serves her right. We could have been allies. Now I have the high ground. But yeah, as I was saying, like it feels like that mod should be like really popular, right? Because it basically allows you to play out like battles um, with your friends, like from your campaigns and stuff. That sounds awesome. And I think you can play either against or with them as well. So you can play like on the same side or you can choose to play against them. And that stuff sounds really cool. But yeah, I've, I've literally had nobody talk about it. So um, yeah, I'm going to make a video about it. Hopefully if I can get it working. Because yeah, I think that's that's the biggest thing is there isn't really a, there isn't really a, a clear way of installing it. Like he has the instructions and it seems like you just copy and paste. A few files here and there. But, yeah, I don't know. As I said, I haven't really heard many people talk about it. Oh, no, no, I don't mean this campaign, Alex. I just mean in general. Like, I, I think it has to be, obviously, just vanilla, um, for sure. Yeah, I, I think, obviously, you just do it vanilla. But, again, if only one person needs the mod as well, like, imagine how cool it would be... If I could play a campaign on live stream and then you guys just join it. Like we do vanilla obviously and then you guys join it. Some of you join for me, some of you guys join against me. But that's basically like a total war drop in battle. Oh yeah, yeah, no. I, th I think the mob would have to be vanilla for sure. I mean, maybe not if everybody had the same files. No, no, it would definitely have to be vanilla for sure. Because if it, because I think what, because what it does, is it creates a multiplayer server. It creates a multiplayer server, which means it then loads from multiplayer. So you wouldn't be able to use single player mods in that multiplayer. But yeah, like think how cool that would be if you guys could join it. Uh, join join the servers and stuff. Like that'd be awesome. That'd be really cool. So many upgrades as well. Wow. Yeah, no, I 100% agree. Uh, does anyone else need that? Need a banner? Increase taking damage from range. I guess I could see that like a cavalry leader wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I might have one. But it's good armor as well. I guess we'll stick it on ourselves here, you know. Does anybody else need better armor? You're pretty good. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could do. Some extra armor and some peel and why not? In case we get into any ruckus, there you go, boom. Nice, so we'll show mercy. And as I said, we'll take this one as well because uh, once you guys have decided on the clans, I, I'll give out these two castles to the clans you guys choose. Yeah, 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 just hit me up. I would love to, I'd love to get it working before the weekend and like record it for the weekend. That'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, just let me know. If you guys have any luck with it or if it makes sense because yeah it just confuses me a little bit on like how it all works but i'm oh no we need to stick the empress in here as well uh let's stick the empress in the dungeon here yeah i think i'd be yeah i mean like hope that'd be, like it sounds really cool i think yeah as i said i think the main reason why people just haven't used it is because it isn't really 100 percent clear of how you get it working but if we can get it working then oh boy would it be good Uh, cool. Let's set this under siege in Taras quickly. 
Uh, did Cole, Cole, sorry, I was, I was in battle and stuff. Um, did you, uh, did you decide on the, the clans that you, you guys want? Now that I'm reading chat again, sorry. Too much stress of trying to get the member goal to, to work. That's crazy, though, that we're on 289 members as well. That's awesome. I really do appreciate the constant level of support. Seriously, you guys have been amazing. Uh, is a Victorian guard mechanic in this mod still working when you walk around the city? I don't think so, but maybe. They have like this, where you, oh, we need to make sure we keep up with this as well. Uh, where you have like all the special upgrades, which is a cool system. Make sure we keep on top of it as well. Cool, there we go. Okay, so as I said, this war wasn't going to be the most exciting. The Empress just escaped. Of course she did. <laughs> of course she did. Okay, so we're going to set up here. Obviously going to bombard the wall. Well, basically, we just, we, like these these battles aren't very exciting. We are, we are literally here just to clear out their artillery. Uh, and then take the castle. And I think, honestly, this could just be an auto-resolve as well, really. Let's build some catapults for the auto-resolve value. Make sure we keep our influence nice and high. Okay, cool. I think we're just good to auto-resolve this. I'm not going to save it because if we lose this, oh my god. No. We lose so many Membo. That is crazy. We do get a bunch of prisoners, though, which is good. We can recruit all of these. Uh, we get a lot of upgrades as well. More cavalry for sure. Uh, hey, Jackie, how how do I fix the crash report? I don't know what that means. Oh my god, this mask is insane. Do we change up? I think maybe we change up. This head mask is so much better. Maybe we switch like this guy up for a wolf pellet helmet as well. Yeah, we should do something like that. Yeah, I need to go the best marksman flag as well, which is nice. Good armor. I mean, them armor greaves are way better for him. We should probably give him like a proper shield as well now. And like a proper gladius. Like a masterwork gladius. There you go. <laughs> He's had a bit, some some rubbish equipment up until now. I mean, that helmet would also be pretty cool on him. Uh, and yeah, we'll take this again. Like, we, we have a bunch of clans to make. As, as I said, when you guys, when you, in, uh, when you know Cole, just... Spam me in the chat and I'll sort it out. But Carl, Carl, also, if I wasn't streaming whilst you were working, then... Uh, then what would you do at work? Actually work? That'd be crazy. Cool. So we've taken, we've basically taken all of Italy now. Yeah, they only have, they have two settlements left. I think we might leave this settlement in the north alive. And we basically just go like all Native American on them. They'll be my, my sweet little project in the, uh, in the Alps. Uh, this guy leveled up as well. He is commanding armies, correct? So we'll keep on boosting him up. Your ro everyone's roguery's gone up. I wonder. I feel like I haven't really done anything too sinister. That to be a thing, but I guess maybe I have. I'm really upset that they uh, that they removed the engineering buff you got from killing people with artillery. Oh, we're running kind of low on food, but that should be fine, I think. Okay, let's just move to the next settlement now. 
Um, we have enough to take from the companions. We have 116 wounded. That's fine. Okay, a bit of a bigger garrison here, but that should still be fine. Um, yeah, so again, uh, I guess I guess I'll probably maybe auto resolve this one and then try and take the last settlement on. Which mod is this? Um, this is Eagle Rising with a few other mods. Nothing too crazy though. Boom, 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 and boom. Okay, so hopefully this war will be over relatively soon. And then if no one else declares war on us, we can finally fight the first Punic War. How long has it been since we have fought the Punic... Uh, fought, have we said we wanted to fought, fight a Punic War? Too long, I tell you. And what's going to be really interesting is boats are going to be very important. Um, because... Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, because there's a chance they own a lot of Spain, so there's a chance they'll come and attack me in Gaul and obviously attack me in Sicily. So yeah, I'm hoping we'll be able to do our first Punic War against Carthage. Hey, Unknown, how's it going, man? The Squid Eye? Oh my god, that name is perfect. The Squid Eye. Oh my god, that is a perfect name. God, the music's a little bit dreary as well let's let's slip that bad boy up imperial to rome you have been good for us but we need some hype music okay we need some music to get us rallied for the up, up and coming punic war uh cool let's get this artillery set up then Okay, let's unset up this artillery because seemingly they're going to destroy it. I did put that to my reserves. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're starving. Oh no, we're starving. Uh, I guess we try and destroy as many catapults as possible. One more. Oh my god. Okay, we have to go. Oh my god, we are... We're in such big trouble. We're in such big trouble. I didn't realize our food stocks would run out so quickly. And my rattle's really bad as well. Uh... I guess we just have to attack and hope that the army is good enough. Uh, yeah, I guess we, we still have more men. Problem is they have artillery. They have artillery. Oh my god, this is not good. Uh, and we have battering rams. Okay, I basically need to get this army up to the walls as quickly as possible. Before their artillery can just hammer me. Uh, actually, splitting these guys wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either. Quickly! Oh god, that's gonna hurt! Ooh, that hurt. The problem is as well, a lot of my morale is very low. Our morale is also very, very low due to... Well, of course, not having any food and starving for a handful of days. Don't worry, though. It makes the boys fight harder, you know? It makes the boys fight harder. Oh, everybody hold fire with your javelins as well. It's such a waste. Checking there's any more dudes to kill. See, we basically have to wait until... Our, our artillery makes it to the walls. But until then, we can obviously pick up some Pelum. Start having some fun here. What we should also do is put probably the boys in shield wall as well. Just so that they're a bit more protected. 
Oh my god, that hurt. Yeah, none of this artillery should be able to hit me, you know? They actually only have one piece. Okay, that's not bad. One piece. One piece is real. It's a dude over here. I don't think they can arc for shot down. Right, so we should be okay now. The artillery is making their way up. Oh, oh God. Oh, my God. Hello, boys. Welcome to the, the party. How you guys doing? I love it when the AI does that. Coming out to play, are we? Good old Bannerlord AI. Okay, the test studios are going to have to leave a lot of the test studios don't have any type problem whatsoever. Firing around making his way up soon as well. Get the defenses up. Get that wall down. One thing as well that's really surprised me is that nobody has like ported over these um these like these armors and stuff for a multiplayer lobby, you know? I'm really surprised nobody's asked e Eagle Rise. Maybe they have and Eagle Rise and don't want people using them, but like even like Skrello has a bunch of assets as well that PVA could use that are different. Like the Total War, he works a lot on the Total War banner law that changed its name, Tides of whatever. And I'm really surprised nobody has because how awesome would like a BRE event be, but with Romans, you know? That'd be incredible. Um, you know, like a BRE Sunday event with like Romans and Ghouls. Like proper shield walls and stuff like that'd be incredible. And I'm really surprised nobody's done it yet. I don't think Eagle Rising wants to share. Maybe it's hard. I mean, oh my god, what the hell happened there? Yeah, I mean, of course, it's probably not easy, right? And multiplayer isn't great, but I 100% agree there. But I'm still surprised, like, oh my god, I got oh, speared where he shouldn't be speared. Um, I'm still surprised nobody's done it, like... Understand that it's probably hard, but I think all modding is hard. This is great, right? Like, this is amazing. Who needs to go and siege the enemy when the enemy come to you? Like, it's perfect. Are you guys charge and get out of shield wall and just charge up there if you go. Are they going to go for the gate, maybe? No, they're not. They're going to charge up for one way. Why don't you guys just, like, go up here, you know? It's not, like, hard. Yeah, but, like, even, um, I know even, like, there's, there are other Roman assets outside of Eagle Rising, right? I know Skrilla, the ancient civilization guy, uh, sorry, ancient, I can't remember what his mod's called. Uh, I think ancient civilization is what Block did with the, uh, the assets. But, yeah, that guy who has the, the assets I'm talking about, like, his ones are amazing as well. Like, he does some incredible Greek stuff, and, like, it'd be so cool to have their mods. It's a shame that no one has done it, because, yeah, I'd love to, like, yeah, do like a big old clan BRE event on that. Oh my god, that would be incredible, you know? That would be so much fun. Let's get this artillery piece on lock. Getting slammed by arrows. Oh, they're starting to come out with infantry now. It's fine. Let's get the rocks. Let's get the... Nice, that destroyed as well. That's good. Get these flaming barrels of hell. What are, oh my god, how did I drop that? And I'm wounded now. Great. The arrows, probably. Oh my god, I just got, I just got two peel them in my leg. Oh, they're all over there throwing javelins at me. Don't worry, boys. I'm getting there. Bit by bit. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, boys. Just, just come in here with my explosive casket. Whoa, that's nice. We love to do that. I 
Oh yeah, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I understand that it, it would take so long, but I am there's like there's mods out there that do do stuff like that, you know, already. So I'm just like, oh, it'd be so cool if we had like a Roman variant, you know? It would be super dope. Let's pick up some of these javelins and throw them down. Hopefully this settlement has some food for us because if it doesn't, we are in a lot of trouble. Hello, boys. That's one down. I like our new helmet as well. I haven't even looked at it really, but it looks cool. Breaking through there now. How's the left-hand side looking? Can we see that? I mean, they still have a gate. Don't forget to like the stream. Hell yeah, I appreciate the, the shout-out, Triple G. How you doing well, man? Yeah, don't forget to like the stream. I mean, honestly, I really do appreciate it. The likes and comments on the stream have been awesome recently, so I am very grateful. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. Um... Because, yeah, these streams have been so much fun. And honestly, if you look at, like, the length of the streams, um, if you look at the length of the streams, they've definitely been going way up. You know, I've been streaming for, like, four or five hours rather than, like, two to three. Just because of, you know, all the comments, everyone chatting, saying they enjoy the stream and stuff. So I very much do appreciate it. A hundred renowned god. How much have you missed? We've been going for about an hour and a half. Basically, we so basically everything that's happened in the past hour and a half is we killed the rebels in the north who rebelled against us. We invited some a few more clans to join us. We then got rejected by a, a by a enemy. Um, yeah, we got rejected by one of my ladies. Uh, my heart was absolutely broken. One of uh, one of the empress's daughters said no, she doesn't want to want me, and I, I cried a little inside. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and what else did we do? And then we declared war on these southern Romans, and we're currently in the process of uh, of killing them. Let's have him being a bit more defensive, I think. Uh, and yeah, we'll take that call. Cool. Because the nice thing in these, these settlements are my culture, so we shouldn't lose them, which is nice. Um, but we are in desperate need of food. Yeah, we are starving still. Okay, we should be able to pick up some food here, right? Yeah, a little bit of food. Okay, I'm going to probably stop the advance into enemy territory just to buy some more food. How are we still starving? I bought food! Buy as much food from these people as possible. We'll buy we'll buy everything. As we rush back to Naples to stock up. Yeah, they're literally down to what? Two settlements? They're down to a settlement in the north and this one. Oh, there's a grain settlement here, actually. Let's hit a grain settlement first. There we go. Boom. Okay, cool. So we'll obviously buy some more food. I want to make sure as well that we take this last settlement as well. Before wrapping up the war with them. Because, yeah, I want to make sure that we are ready for the Punic War. So also make sure we sell all the crap that we have. Yeah, they're about a 90 grand short. But I also don't really care much about money. So, they can have it. They can have all the extra stuff for free, sure. I'm a nice person. Okay, new clan names are Roma Invictus and the Squid Eye. I love the Squid Eye. All right, cool. Let's set them up. Boom. Uh, we want to go to my companion. So who should we make into it? Oh, they can't be in my army, can they? No, so let's get rid of them. So Zimica and Tacticus. Let's do them. I mean, let's just talk to them like this. How's it going? Good fur, sir. About your position in the clan. I would like to reward you. Uh, I no longer have need for you. Sign you a new role? Wait. Are you not leading an army? Why can't I... Oh, I can't. Is he, like, in my army? No, he's leading an army. Is it because I'm in an army, maybe? 
There you go. There's this one. Uh, why do I, I want to give him Naples? I want to give this guy, yeah, Napolos. He will be called the Squid Eye. <laughs> Perfect name. I love that name. It was there, was it? Uh, let's just TP on this person then, if I'm blind. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it was. And then we're going to give this guy... Taras or Syracuse? Let's give him Syracuse. That's a nice one. Boom. Nice. Cool. So they should be their own individual clans now? No, did it not work? That one worked. Syracuse worked with Romus Invictus. Did Taras not work? Did I not give him Taras? I'm confused. No, the Squid Eye are here. Okay, what, oh, I must have given him something else. I gave him Mancona? No, I didn't give him Mancona. Oh, I gave him, sorry, I gave him this. Yeah, I still have Taras. Yeah. Perfect. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, guys, what we're doing is we are we are making it so that if you guys uh, want a, a clan in the kingdom, you can donate some members to the channel, uh, and then that way you get your very own clan in the kingdom, which I thought was quite a cool idea. Thank you guys for saying, you know, for supporting the channel. And we are only 11 members off of 300, so that'd be an awesome goal to hit. Okay, let's finish off the Romans then. They, they physically can't muster an army to stop us right now. So let's just head over there. We will set this under siege. And hopefully you guys will serve me well and not betray me. It's annoying that they still have the same, they have the same banner as these guys a little bit, I guess. But not the end of the world. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not using that mod, Alex. That does also that does also mean that we actually have a few extra like companion slots as well. So after this war, we should go and grab a ton more companions as well. Okay, we have 700 men. We have plenty of food this time. Yeah, I mean, they have a lot of soldiers here. So this will probably be a situation where we want to starve them out a bit, you know? Get rid of 200 of their men and probably make a breach as well. So this will probably be a bit of a long siege, if I'm being honest. Uh, who won? It was the Squid Eye and Roma Invictus. So they are now clan leaders within the kingdom. And hopefully they serve me well. It's a shame I don't have the the other mod I wish I have installed, and maybe I'll get it working for next time. Um, is the the one that lets you change names? Because you can't change names in vanilla, right? Because I would love to be able to change their their leaders to the people who clan they are. I don't actually have that on. Uh, yo, Dale. Uh, he says, how do you gift members? Uh, if you hit the dollar sign in the bottom of the chat, you can then um, you can then choose uh, if you want to gift members. And yeah, we're doing five gifted members gets you a clan. Whilst we have them as well, they might run out. We won't be able to make any more clans. Luckily, we have plenty of influence, but... All right, see you later, Cole. Thanks for hanging out, man. And very much, I really appreciate the 10 gifties getting us closer to our 300 member goal. Really appreciate that. Have a good rest of your shift, my man. And yeah, we'll be live for a little bit longer, for a while yet, so chances are I'll still be live. Uh, let's continue to make this. Uh, yeah, so I think we're going to have to make a breach here. Yeah, all my men are now healing for whatever reason. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is basically their last remnants. Luckily, they've only got three days worth of food left. And people want to do marshals. Tier armies led by tier. I mean, that's really good. I mean, it doesn't really matter much, but we'll, we'll accept it. Really, man, I love that mod. What mod? Sorry. 
Eagle Rising? Are you talking about Eagle Rising? Yeah, Eagle Rising's updated for the newest patch, if that's what you're talking about, Michael. Uh, let's also obviously build this stuff just for the sake of building it. But yeah, this is really the last stronghold that these guys have. Not sure if this is the same mod or not, but when I played a Roman mod, I, I made a Legion, dedicated it, dedicated the Berserk skin warriors. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I feel like you've got to do some good role playing uh, in Bannerlord to, to really enjoy it, you know? Okay, we're just hammering the walls. This is the last real stronghold that they have. And I want it to be a good battle, right? I want it to be a good battle. We're going to probably have to rebuild, um, yeah, a lot of our artillery, though. So let's let them destroy this last catapult. Okay. So yeah, we're going to have to basically do that all over again, but that should be all we need now. So we're not going to wipe out the emperors. I mean, I can't marry the emperors anyway, right? We're not going to wipe them out, though. We are going to keep them around. They have, a, they have a castle up in the Alps. And we're going to kind of basically just like, like do what the, uh, the British and the Americans did to the, uh, to the Native Americans. We're going to keep them nice and safe, tucked in. Maybe even try and make an alliance with them. Okay, so we're basically just doing that again. That should clear the artillery and then we're good to go. The one you told us a minute ago changed names of clan leaders. What one? I know the there's a character mob that does it. I don't have that. Uh, cool. So they're, they're starved out as well. So boom, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Whilst the siege is finishing up, I am just going to go for a pee quickly. But I'll be back in a second. You guys can watch the walls. The last hope of Rome crumble beneath my artillery. The wall's been cracked yet. Doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. You hate when it goes slow? Yeah, I'm so used to it just being blitzed like this. Okay, there's one breach. We'll probably make two breaches, honestly. Make sure we have no artillery left as well. And of course, wait for the daytime. Okay, cool. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Are we good to go? This will be our last, the last holdout, really. I mean, they have a castle in the Alps, but as I said, we're giving them that, so. Uh, you can't give subs. It doesn't come up when you press the dollar sign. I'm not 100% sure because... Uh, are you on mobile? Maybe it's like a mobile thing. Um, I haven't really gifted memberships before. Let's have a look quickly. Let's load up. I'll have a look. Oh, yeah, it's your boy. Uh, yeah, you should be able to click this and then memberships. Membership gifting. You should have this option here. I mean, you should be able to gift. Um, oh, gift free of charge. You have 10 memberships left to gift. Oh, my God. I've How have I not been using? Is this new? Is this a new feature that I can gift memberships? Memberships you gift will be publicly announced. Luckily, receipts will receive. Get one month access. 
Uh, what? Since when has that been a thing? It's like a monthly thing. It must be new, right? Have I been missing out on that all this time? Well, there you go, guys. There's five gifted members in the chat. Bosh. That's almost harvesting season. It is almost harvesting season. And apparently I could be the lucky person to receive exclusive perks, allow gifts on this channel. <laughs> no, I shouldn't do that, actually, because I don't want to be gifted on my own channel. Boom. I, I have five more. I guess we'll save five. I guess I'll save five for a special occasion. That, I, that must be a new feature. Has to be. Um, but yeah, you should be able to uh, to click that that um, that membership button and uh, click gift members. It'll probably be here somewhere. That's awesome, though. Hell yeah. That's a cool feature by YouTube. I like that. Uh, let's get some epic music on as well quickly. Uh, Rome 1. Soundtrack. Scammed hard. Yeah, I mean, I assume I get I get money for them members as well from YouTube. It's just like five gifted members. That's really cool. I like that. It's a cool feature by YouTube. Uh, cool. Let's drop a like on my own stream. Uh, Warriors March. Is that the song we want? Here we go, boys. Okay, let's do this. Brave warriors, Brave warriors indeed. This is the final battle no against the Red Romans. The today. So be not backwards in your attacks. Carry the fight to the enemy. Give him not a moment's rest. Scream your defiance in his face. Stab him. Kick him. Bite him. Cut out his liver. And... Let's go, boys. Unleash the dogs of war. This is where we finally break this scourge that has been plaguing us. My once former master held domain over these lands. For no longer the true emperor has returned. And with that, I provide stability, strength. No more dramatic raids in the north, pillaging our lands, destroying the people of Rome no with this final battle here we will see the end to all of that and only prosperity and honor and glory befalls the Roman people let's go boys stop throwing your goddamn javelins and get the hell inside of the city pushing on the other side as well I hope I hope I hope Oh my god, imagine if I could like ninja cap the gate. Oh my god. Imagine if I ninja cap the gate. Is, do I have anyone here to like run through? I don't think I do, right? Do I have anybody here just to quickly run through the gate? Is anybody coming? Can I just, no, 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 don't you dare close it. Don't you dare close it. Oh my god, I'm going to close it. Stop them, stop them. Oh, I'm not going to get it in time. I'm not going to get it in time. Oh god damn it. They're running back. Let's get back on my horse and get out of here. Yeah, they're closed. Okay. Oh my god, we've absolutely blitzed this defense on the left-hand side, though. We're getting hammered by arrow fire up in the north. Push, boys. Push, push, push. Okay, get on the walls. Start clearing them out quickly. Moving towards the gate also wouldn't be a bad idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and select some of these soldiers. Uh, so F5. Let's try and like try, let's try and make a brand new group. Transport group 4. Give me like 100 men. Yeah, give me like 100 men. Reform up here. We're going to go take the gate, okay? Reform, reform. On me, boys. It'll be our job to secure that gate, okay? Whilst everybody else is doing their thing, we will push forward. It's our job, as I mentioned, to claim that gate, get it open so that reinforcements can make their way into the city. Deal with Praetorian Guard. Forward! Okay, I want you guys to form up here. Yeah, no, I want you guys to form up here. Set yourself up there. Nice, gate's open now. Anybody stuck outside of the settlement now? We're basically in. Yeah, we're in on this side as well. Pushing in. Okay, boys. Let's close the trap then. Close the trap in on them. These brave Romans who are still fighting. I have to give them credit, right? They are still Romans at the end of the day.
Looks like the settlement has been quite swiftly cleaned up, though. If I do say so myself. Yeah, we are. We are blitzing this. Very nice indeed. Good job. Let's push our way out there, scrambling. I don't think these soldiers know what's befolding their comrades on the, on the ground. They're here busy firing arrows, and little do they know that the entire... The entirety of Legio 2, Legio 1 is pushing. There they go. They know now. They know now. And let this be a lesson to anybody who would oppose me and my people. You will be met with the same... The same fate as the uh, Cornelii. I think these are... Beautiful stuff. Look at my horse as well. My horse is just going on a little bit of a, a ride. Yeah, there you go. Finish him off. The last soldier there. Hey, I, I will take any man from this settlement into my army. There we go. The battle has been won. The battle has indeed been won. Oh, yo, sorry. I did see someone else's message in the chat uh, that was saying he was really happy to be here, but I was I was in the midst of, of yapping. Sorry about that. Ryan, how's it going? Sorry, man. Uh, sorry, I missed your message. He says, nice. I never get to catch a stream. Well, hell yeah. I'm glad you could be here, dude. Don't know how my day could get any better. You're leaving for a beach vacation. Hell yeah. And you get to see the live stream. Nice, dude. That's amazing. How? Uh, whereabouts are you going on your vacation, Ryan? Uh, yeah, so we'll let all of these guys go because I'm going to probably convince them to join me. So we'll, we'll, we'll get some good relations. And look at, look at all them prisoners, man. We'll take the lot. I'll take all of them. Uh, we'll get all the upgrades as well. You have to go now, or I'll see you later, Gambino. Uh, thanks for hanging out, dude. I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. Um, and then we have a few more banners and stuff. Again, I'd like for 26,000 experience across the army, to be honest. We don't really need any more money. And yeah, we'll take this one as well. This is like our... I mean, we have a lot of territories. But remember, every territory we get to keep is like pretty big because it gives us more soldiers. You know, we have... We have yeah, basically this string of settlements, this triangle of settlements, and then all of this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well... Uh, oh, yeah, we also probably want to take all them prisoners on board as well, right? Yeah, 38 here. Crew all of them. We're still well over our limit, but that's fine. Uh, hello? Am I a... Who the hell are you? We're at war, apparently. We'll surrender or die, good friend. Send the boys in to finish them off. Uh, yeah, you're free to go. We'll make all of these people like us because the war's literally over. I'll take all of them as well. I'm about to stick some of them in my dungeon, so. Take 5,000 experience, and then boom. Um, hopefully, there's room in the dungeon. Yeah, there's plenty. Nice. All right, cool. So, let's sort out our prisoners by tier. And we'll just put all the low tiers in there. There you go. Boom. Can't have quite that many, but that's fine. So I want all of, all of these archers in there. I'll take some of the swords. Why not? Boom. Cool, perfect. That's actually really worked out great. Uh, okay, and then there you go. The war is won. The war is literally won. Uh, Jackie, how do you recruit Praetorians? Uh, I'll show you. Give me a second. Give me one second. Oh, you just press Control M and it brings up this screen. You need the max ranking unit. You need, like, it'll tell you what you're lacking um, if you don't have enough of them. But you, just, you press Control M and you come to this screen and then you can just promote. You will need some of, like, the highest tier soldiers to do it. Uh, who declared war on me? You guys can take one guess. Who do you think declared war on me? Oh, wait. What? It was this settlement again? Oh, my God. I'm actually going to lose it. Like, what more can I do to keep that settlement allied to us? I almost don't want it. This is, like, the sixth time we've taken the settlement. I've pillaged it. I've showed mercy. Like, what more do they want? I wish I could just, like, literally murder everyone inside of that settlement so I just don't have to worry about it. It's just annoying. 
But I guess we'll go north and we'll deal with it. Uh, cool. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just, we'll literally just go and blitz them. They shouldn't have any good soldiers there. And we have such a good, such a good army now that we should be able to just slaughter them, yeah. <laughs> Genocide, Jackie Fish. Hey, it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm on my Paul Atreides arc, okay? I'm on my Paul Atreides arc. And yeah, we'll just massacre on our way north. All I want to do is fight a Punic War. Is that too much to ask for, hey? Uh, no, I don't think there's any way of changing culture in, in this. They, they slowly start to convert, I think, so you can recruit cultural units and, like, auxiliaries out there. But, yeah, I don't think so. Um, either way, I mean, they've literally been rebelling for, like, the past five hours. Yeah, I think our, ne I think our next battle is going to be Punic War. I think our next... As long as the Germanians don't declare war on me. Didn't mean to click that as well. Apologies. That's the last summons. What we can also do now as well. So she should have, yeah, a bunch of these other clans in the kingdom. Um, like, they don't have any land. So they should be very easy to convince to join us. So we'll just get basically grab both of them now. So we did that one right. So now we do this one. Oh, we can't. Oh, he's in prison apparently. Are you guys fighting besides me? Oh, them. Okay. And I think this was the first person we ever served under, which was kind of cool, right? But we're going to get him to join us. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we'll immediately give him probably Sicily, right? Let's not mess around. Uh, so Grand Thurf. Yeah, take it. Boom. Nice. So yeah, now he, he'll take care of that, which is good. So yeah, Sicily's under not my control anymore, but it's fine. But yeah, that's another clan. Uh, we, we are really strong now. We are really strong. Can remove all building projects and then raise loyalty with the game default. And that's what I always do in it. Yeah, this settlement just doesn't seem like the case. It was fine, though, because this settlement had the same issue, and this settlement is now under our command, so. I also have no idea what is happening in this settlement, because you can look at that. Like, all of our parties are here. I don't really know. Like, look at how many of our armies are just stuck inside of this settlement. Don't really know why they're here. I don't really know how I can get them out of there, either. Yeah, I have no idea how to get them out of there. Like half of our half of our characters are just stuck in the settlement. <laughs> well, what is this? Uh, we're playing uh, we're playing Eagle Rising. Take off a cavalry. The tier three cavalry will be more than acceptable. Okay, they want us to declare war on uh, on the Black Romans again. I kind of want to just go to war with Carthage. Kind of just want to go to war with Carthage. I need to set this under siege anyway. They have 600 defenders. That should be easy enough to break. This is very annoying. Um, do I let... I think I let the 100 men get out of there first before doing it. Yeah, there you go. Let the 100 out. Okay, they have 10 days worth of food. I think we can probably auto-resolve this one. As long as we destroy all the equipment. Carthage is harder to defend. Yeah, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun to fight that. To be fair, though, this war, we could really finish off the, the Romans in the, in the West as well. So, to know, maybe, maybe we do fight this war, you know? Maybe we do accept it.
Um, yeah, no, it'd be really cool if you could destroy cities um, and kind of remold them, you know? That'd be cool. That's asking way too much from this game, though, unfortunately. Do you guys know as well, on Sunday, this game was four years old. It was four years old on Sunday. Hey, how's it going, Seb? Welcome back to the, the channel. How you doing? Okay, let's get the artillery up. Let's just clear the walls. Get some auto-resolve bonuses. I mean, yeah, I think I might just see if we can auto-resolve this. Any men, other men? No, we've got literally everybody. I guess we should starve them out a bit if we're auto-resolving to minimize casualties. How's Roden doing? Oh, yeah, she looks beautiful. She looks beautiful, my friend. You just wait. You just wait until we, we finish up this battle. I think you'll be very impressed. Yeah, we've got two days worth of food left. Uh, you can't recruit people to a siege? Yeah, you can. You cannot perform this action whilst in a siege. What? I never knew that. That's why. Why Why would you not be able to do that? What is the logical reason for not being able to do that? That makes no sense. Sorry, bro. You can't join me in my siege because... <laughs> can't even think of a, a reason that makes sense. Okay, we got one more day left of food. Both breaches down. Really don't know how he gets all these mods to work. I mean, I've got a pretty small mod list, to be honest. And it's got, like, obviously, again, like, I, I find it quite easy because I've obviously been modding for... I've been, I've been modding for... for 20 years? I don't know how long. Yeah, probably 20 years, honestly. Rome 1. Thinking I was an absolute beast when I uh, when I, I went into the notepad of Rome 1 to make all the factions playable, you know? You know, like, I've been modding since then. Okay, they're going to be down to, what, 30 men now. No artillery. Breaches. Okay, send the boys in. I didn't even save as well as how confident I am. Boom. Song do be going hard as well. They have a lot of Romans here, so we'll take the Romans prisoner and the cavalry prisoner as always. Okay, cool. Uh, we can also recruit 31. We can, we can literally not even have 31 then. Wow. It's fine. Whatever. We'll lose a couple. We'll take the 13,000 experience. Our army is, like, good, but also bad. So here the thing is, like, if we, if we devastate the settlement, the loyalty just gets absolutely fucked, which is, like, impossible. So we have to show mercy. That's what we did last time. The settlement didn't even like us. I just like I just like give it to someone else. Okay, here we go, guys. What do we do? Do we go to war with the Ro the Black Romans now and basically finish them off, or do I choose to say no and we go to war with Carthage now? I kind of like the idea of fighting one big war, one more war against these guys, and then we fight Carthage on Friday. Like, I feel like that'd be a really cool, a really cool stream to fight Carthage on Friday for a stream, you know? Like, yeah, we deal. I mean, we're so strong. We're kind of already too OP anyway. But yeah, I, I kind of like the idea of dealing with these guys, and then on Friday we like it can be the first Punic War and we fight them.
Cool. Whilst you guys are deciding, I'm just going to go grab another Coke and then we will uh, continue on. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab a coat quickly. No, that was funny. Uh, went downstairs to grab a Coke and my golden retriever is just on the sofa, on her back with her arms completely stretched out. I'm sure if you have a golden retriever, you probably or you've seen them do that before you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, cool. Let's deal with the, the Romans then. We'll deal with these guys quickly. As you guys say, we kind of do need to spam the army to let it rebuild up a bit. Like, you're not wrong. And the Black Romans, like, I, I wouldn't mind letting them kind of build up a bit of a force as well, you know? So let, let's let's maybe go back into the heart of Italy, and then we'll disband some of these soldiers. Because they, as you say, are they are very low. Let's give this settlement over to someone as well. I think it's you had it first, but Pappas apparently really wants it. No, this guy? Yeah, it's between these guys. Uh, let's give Pappas because he kind of doesn't like me loads. Just don't let them cross the Alps? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, well, that's exciting then. It means basically the Punic War will be on Friday. I, I like the sound of that being a stream, right? The Punic War. Now, the only thing that can stop that from happening is if the Germanic tribes declare war on us, but I'll try and end that war very quickly. Because I want to get to a point where I'm not actually having to do, like, I don't have to basically command everything, you know? I want to get to a point where, like, I close my eyes and the AI goes and conquers everything for me. And I can kind of just do what I want to do. Okay, we need to buy some food as well, quickly. Okay, let's get here then, and then let's disband everybody who's not part of my army. Because I can give these guys troops, right? So they'll go out and they'll start recruiting, which is good. Of course, I need to buy some grain, that's pretty nice. Support your local businesses by buying grain from villages. It's actually cheaper from buying stuff from villages as well. I mean, my army is fully stocked up as well. Like, we've got a very good army. And they're going to go off and recruit some more, which is good. I mean, we have a lot of pretty powerful people. The problem is, for whatever reason, they're all glitched out in the settlement. Oh, are they not? Have they all left this settlement now? Oh, I think they've all left. No. Oh, yeah, no, they. most of them have all left. I think. Oh, yeah, something we should be doing as well is we should be looking for some more companions as well. So we should be going to cities along our way uh, to see if there's any good companions to pick up. Because we can just build more armies. We can't even, literally can't even recruit anybody now. Um, but yeah, oh, sorry, to the person asking, yeah, this is what Rome looks like now. So we, we just conquered the entirety of southern Italy. Uh, now we've pushed all the way the Germanians up here. So the border, I think, is like, that's not a bad Rome, right? That's not a bad Rome whatsoever. So let's head back over to Massalia. We will grab some more men. And hopefully, uh, hopefully fight... Like, I want to really fight some land battles as well, so I'm hoping that they can muster something decent. I'd love to take this in the Pyrenees. We need, oh my god, who's... Who's pot... The, okay, the Romans are over here. Okay, let's head over there then. 
Didn't think they would be there, but they are. So let's, let's make our way over. Honestly, I might just disband this entire army, to be honest. And just rebuild up with whoever has most men. Oh, this guy's 200 men. Yeah, just something like that, you know? Just have literally the boys. Let all of these guys go and do their thing. Because, yeah, as I said, I want to maybe recruit a couple more clans. I mean, actually, realistically, we just need to get to a point um, where everybody's rebuilt up. And then 13,000 men. So the thing is, as well, we don't actually have 13,000 men in our kingdom. A lot of it... A lot of it is just the garrisons scattered across the kingdom. We own a lot of settlements, right? How many settlements do we own? But we own 30 fiefs. Like, that's a lot. Okay, please have a good amount of men. 500? No! That she might take the settlement before we can arrive. And we are on our way. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's just solve them. I mean, we outnumber them two to one, but we have to fight. Let's do it. Okay, we have Legio 1 in the front lines. Legio... Yeah, Legio 3 is left. So, Legio 3 in the forest. Like so. And then Legio 2 get in the forest on this side. Like so. Cavalry can sit back and get ready to counter charge. They have to attack... Oh, actually, they have to attack us. Okay, cool. So, because they have to attack us, we can actually fall back here. You guys, like, kind of act as, like, a shield there. And then you guys get ready to come flying around this rock again. Yeah, I, I feel you, Alex. That's what happens when they don't update the game for seven months, eight months. It's almost like we're actually... The game... 1.2 came... 1.2.8 or whatever you want to call it came out almost a year ago. How insane is that? I think that basically shows that Tailworlds have, uh, have given up on this game. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Alright, boys, get ready to hold this. Okay, we have a nice little flanking force that can completely come around, which I'm looking forward to. The Pelums going out. Some good, healthy throws right there. That's yeah, a lot of Pelum going out on them first, which is nice. A big back and forth. Okay, enemy cavalry coming in, but we should be fine. Like we have a lot of a lot of soldiers on this side that should be able to deal with that, you know? Yeah, look at look, look, look at that. Like they deal with these guys nicely. Okay, now this cavalry countercharges at them as they come flying through our ranks. But they they hit into the back of us and stuff, which is annoying, but it's fine. Our own cavalry is now countercharging. You guys immediately start making your way around. Yeah, we'll send Legio 2 on the, the fat old flank. And Leg Legio 3 is like untouched as well. Nice. So Legio 3 does exactly the same. And we just pincer her in. We just need Legio 2 to hold. Hold the line, Legio 2. Go, go, go. Legio, okay, you're on you guys a bit more on the side now. Okay, you guys go now. Push, push, push. Start hitting that flank. Good. And then same with you guys as well. Push in. So yeah, we should have both. Oh, our center is looking really slim though. But we've just drawn so many of their men off now. I probably should be in shieldable with this. I'm actually going to form a square with these guys. Yeah, form a square. So they're going to form a square to be a bit more defensive. And I'll just hope that these guys can break their way through it. We'll help out where we can. That square should be enough to hold. Try and take out horses if we can. Any infantry. We need these lines to break a little bit quicker. Because that square is not going to hold forever. Legio 2 is under so much pressure right now. So I need to change the battery of my headphones in the midst of battle.
Okay, they're doing it though. Some men are starting to break through. Good job. We really need this line to fully crumble though. We even have cavalry here as well. Their archers are still hitting us, but that's fine. Okay, we're starting to decay. There we go. Good job, good job. Yeah. You guys just keep on pushing, boys. You're almost free. There's so few of them. Some of you guys are already making it through. The square is holding as well. Can we charge the square? What happens when we charge the square? Do they stay in square formation and just go aggressive? We kind of do. Nice. And we're really close. Look at that. The noose is closing. The noose is closing around what remains of them. I kind of wish I had a Legio 4, you know, to kind of really come in here. Maybe just like a, a small contingent of soldiers, but basically one just to stop like arrow fire and other things from coming in. Nice, good job. Well, that's our infantry done with. And now their archers are running as well. Good job. There we go. Cool. Uh, that was a pretty clean battle, if I do say so myself. We lost 32 dead, 72 wounded. Pretty good. Let a lot of these guys go. Actually, we'll take these guys prisoner. Oh my god, look at that as well. Uh, let's recruit all of these guys into the army, even though we're way over our limit. 30 upgrades as well. And uh, we'll just take what we can from there. Yeah, we are we are so strong right now. Okay, cool. So we smashed that army. So now let's take a little look, see, at where we want to go. I mean, I guess. I mean, we have a lot of these other armies as well, just building up their strength. We actually have 200 men still on their way. Like all of these guys should maybe form an army and go do some stuff. I guess we just start making our way across, right? Like we take this castle. And then delve into like a few settlements here. Who's sieging this as well? I'm going to TP just because I'm interested. Oh, the Germanians are. Okay. Crazy how they can still muster an army. Um, but yeah, I guess we go out to this castle first. Because that would really protect the left flank of this castle. Of this city. Let's maybe go over and do that. Uh, and as I said, we have 200 men. 213 men coming to reinforce us. Oh, yeah, we should also look at getting married as well, yeah? Um, so let's quickly have a look. Is there anybody else in her family? I wonder if uh, What's-Her-Face will actually marry me now. I mean, she's still not married. I wonder if she'll marry me. Uh, this is a very easy settlement as well. Make sure we don't have any artillery and this should just be a, a simple auto resolve. Which is nice. Like, we've been fighting a lot of sieges this stream, so it's cool that we can just clear things up. You usually have two separate squads of infantry and archers, yeah. I feel, I feel like, because like, again, you don't have to do that. You can just literally F1, F3 most of the time. But, you know, you can literally just use the most OP gun in the game, you know? Or you can literally just play the best footballers in the football game, you know? So it's fun to fun to try unique things, special things. You say that, Mystic, but she didn't want me before that. So don't see why that would change anything, you know? I mean, I guess I did take Rome as well, to be fair. Uh, let's take this for the auto resolve. We're out of food again. I guess could we have a, we literally have a 500 man army. So I guess it does make sense. I guess it does make sense. The reason why she doesn't want to marry me. I don't agree with it, but as I said, I guess it does make sense.
Nice, so that's one settlement down. We, of course, did take a few more casualties than maybe I would like. Ah, oh, we crashed. I knew I was coming. That, like, and again, this is, this is a 1.2.9 bug. For whatever reason, on my hardware. Like, loads of other people have been having this issue as well. Uh, I, don't, I don't really follow football. I'm not really a football man. I'm more of a rugby man myself. But yeah, I mean, I don't really, don't really follow any sport, really, even rugby. I follow the national stuff, but I don't really follow league stuff. Um, yeah. I don't really play any sport either. I, I power lift. That's really about it. Okay, so we're back here. Yeah, back here. Okay, cool. So just need to go see Jack Castle then. You can do that. Oh my god, no, we're all the way back here. Holy crap, this is ages ago. Alright, I'm just going to keep this army together then for now. And we'll go take that castle. Yeah, we literally just taken this. Wow. Still trying to get the mod working. What is what's what's causing the issue out of interest, Squiddy? Because I haven't tried myself, so just out of interest. So there's the Germanic army moving. Let's set them under siege then again. Daisy is in a civil war. Nice. Cool. That's cool. I mean, you should just have to have the option to go multiplayer. Hmm. Yeah. There's their army there. We saw. We're going to take this and then oh, no, they're going to attack us. All right. Okay. Now we actually have a proper battle against them. We've already defeated this army, granted, but they're going to come in for it. Hey, I'll, I'll take the harder engagement. Uh, I guess we'll take all the upgrades we can get. I'll pull on one up. Nice. One bonus experience for troops and party. Recruitment cost for infantry. Five hit points for your party. Uh, Yeah, please. But the charge damage is really nice. Yeah, that's super nice. Alright, cool. Then let's let him come. Hey, do you think you are good, sir? We'll fight to the last drop of blood, of course. Look at this person's face as well. I don't know why it's so messed up in that picture. Um, yeah, so it's not giving you the option. And you definitely have the mod enabled, obviously. Yeah, that's a problem. I feel like the mod doesn't do a great job of explaining what the mod does, you know? <laughs> right, so they attacked me. So let's pull back here then. So let's have Legio 1. Yeah, Legio 1 will be set up here. Legio 2 can go, like, right on the flanks. And then Legio 3 can be set up, like, here. So we basically have this entire cut bit covered. Uh, we have the archers can just like, kind of maybe set up on this hill. And we have the cavalry. Decent amount of cavalry can be set up here. Uh, and then commander wise. See people who provide us with the best bonuses. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm hoping I'll. Yeah, I mean, you only see the bands of powers looking pretty good. So the idea here is to let the enemy push us. Because they should have similar soldiers to us. We kill their cavalry pretty easily. And then we just wrap around the flanks on them again. Actually, it seems like they have, they have a lot of infantry by the looks of it. Yeah, 400 infantry. Okay, they're, they're an infantry-heavy army. Which is fine by me. 
Fine by me. Play a campaign where every battle is auto resolve. Oh my god, that'd be insane. You heading out now, Alex? Alright, see you later, man. Thanks for hanging out, dude. I appreciate it. Have a good lunch with your daughter. Yeah, like, yeah, I kind of agree. Yeah. Just got the auto buff skill and high troops. Yeah, but auto is like, a, like a, imagine trying to take a castle in an auto resolve, you know? That would be brutal. Oh my god, yeah, they do have a lot of infantry. Okay, I'm going to send my cavalry out to go deal with them. God, I hate it. I hate. Okay, no, they're going, they're going. No, they're not. Okay, just, just stay, just stay, just stay. Everybody's going to throw their javelins. Okay, this is actually pretty good. It seems like they're ignoring Legio 3. So Legio 3 can immediately move around. And it seems like they're actually almost kind of ignoring Legio, this Legio as well. Let's reform here then. And do you guys form shield? I don't know if you guys form shield. Well, you guys counter charge there. Obviously, you've got cavalry coming in here. So then, yeah, you guys just form up here then. And deal with the cavalry coming in. Yeah, you guys are really nice and dense. Our own infantry are now pushing. Here we go. I want you guys to be aggressive and you guys on shield wall, right? Yeah, Legio 2 can be on shield wall. Get nice and dense. Form up. You guys are going to take a bit of a hit, but that should be fine. You're taking a bigger brunt of your attack. You're killing the cavalry, which is good. So yeah, just keep on killing this cavalry. Not really doing much damage to it, but just keep on pushing. Kill that cavalry, which they're doing an amazing job of. All right, Lego free. Now push, push, push. We're going to wrap around and help the infantry. We are slightly outnumbered in this battle as well, do remember. Okay, I want to get literally all the way behind if I can. They only have 16 archers as well. Right, you boys set up. Legio free. Fire will, boys. Give them hell. Let these javelins fly. I mean, realistically, the Legio 2 needs the help. So I might actually move these guys over here. Legio 1 are doing a great job. Legio 1 can charge and deal with these guys. With the javelins in, these, in their backs as well. That's basically seen them, seen them through. But yeah, we probably need to send more men over here. There's some javelins going now. Nice. Good job. Let them throw the rest of their peeler and then we'll charge in with them. You guys done? Probably shift over a little bit more. Yeah. Legio, Legio 1 is beating. Legio 2 is holding. Legio 3 is now charging. Let's go. Look at that. Beautiful tactics right there. And then what we'll do is we'll charge these guys out as well at the same time. So yeah, we completely sandwiched their forces. That is a beautiful, beautiful chicken and mayo sandwich right there. And oh my god, they're retreating! They're retreating through my lines! Oh my god, that is so beautiful. No, 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 you guys charge, 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 charge. I messed up this command, right? Yeah, no, you guys are good. Yeah, out of line. Oh my god, we just ripped them apart there. They actually are... I mean, to be fair, it makes sense that they're running away, but still. Okay, reform this. Yeah, I mean, we still have plenty of men. Look at that, another 300 men are now reinforcing. Okay, let's just sit up here then. We'll go for an old classic, I think. Our cavalry can come back as well now. They're a little bit too deep. And our archers can continue to fire away our six archers. Lend us your ears. Uh, you guys hold fire as well. If you guys have any javelins, hold them. We'll reform the three of them. 
Cavalry's back now, which is good. Pick up one of these javelins quickly. And we'll let them come. Again, there's still 380 of them, but they should be of much weaker quality. The cavalry is what's scary, actually. So what we'll do is we'll take Legio 3 and we'll basically use them as like an anchor to help defend against this flank. Yeah. Because they have, they have 100 cavalry on the field now. So we'll basically just wrap around this line like so. Oh, we only have four cavalry on the left flank, apparently. Okay. That means we can set up our entire cavalry line here, then. To deal with that. Hopefully, they'll charge in. We might need to rotate it. Oh, my God. I say that. Look at that incoming infantry line. And the worst thing is they probably all have, all have their peel and back left as well. Right, boys. I mean, I'll let you guys fire at will now. Good luck. And we're going to go charging in. I wish you guys good luck. Oh, yeah, that peeling is going to hurt. Let's go deal with this cavalry if we can. Get around the back of them. This is really good for us as well, the fact that we, we've closed them in. Because it means they can't then run away. And our boys can get some good damage in. It's already a bunch of their cavalry dealt with. Yeah, nice. There's a lot of their horse taken care of. They've just split their cavalry now as well. To hope the infantry fight is going in our favor. Hope it is. Alright, how are we doing? Let's get back and take a look at the infantry fight. Okay, the cavalry is now no longer a problem, so we can start charging one of the flanks. How's our left flank looking? Not great. Uh, okay. You guys form shield wall. You guys form you guys actually you guys form a square. Yeah, looks, it's not looking great, honestly, for us. A lot of our army is depleted. So, what? yeah, we'll form a shield one on the left flank. Center can form a square. And then our right flank is the, the flank we need to use. As the most men in, Legio 3 is the most soldiers. So, we'll use that to our advantage, hopefully. We ideally just need our reinforcements to spawn in. That's what's really hurting us right now. Is that their reinforcements have spawned in and ours, of course, haven't. Oh, they're pulling back, though. Okay. Let them. Pulling back. Why, though? Uh, yeah, I think they maybe just fame retreated me. Maybe fame retreat me. That would just literally happen. Charge him again. I mean, hopefully it gave my other lines. Oh, my God. They're literally uh, up against it. Only 70 damage. Come on. I need the kills here. There we go. Yeah, we need this left flank to push harder. To fight harder. You boys are lions. Okay. Dismounting this cavalry is also good, especially in the water. Okay, reinforcements have now arrived. Legio 2 reinforcements. That is huge. Cavalry have just arrived as well. It's 100 horse we've just gotten now. Nice. But Legio 2 is in desperate need of reinforcements, though. Many, many men are on the way, though. Legio 3 is fighting hard to resupply this flank. What I should probably do is I should probably resupply a few of these men over to Legio 2. Okay, the cavalry have now arrived. That's going to help out a bit. Yeah, let's actually do that. Let's send a few of these guys to Legio 3. Because Legio 3 is our pushing. Let's give them an extra, like, 60 men. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Legio 2 has now just been reinforced. Oh, my God. It just transferred all... Oh, my God. It just transferred all of these guys over. It's annoying. Not what I wanted to do. To be fair, there's like none of them left. More of our archers are arriving as well. Great. Yeah, our archers are going to be in a perfect position. I mean, honestly, actually, archers just sit up here, man. Okay, more soldiers are arriving. Yeah, I mean, I think literally everybody here 
to set yourself up here and throw your javelins. You guys have a lot of pelum, right? So, oh god, why am I here? Get me out of here. The archers now actually got a really good volley in here. And if anything, they can go on loose formation. Yeah, loose formation them up. They can start really helping out there. These guys are here with their javelins. Good. Legio 3 has now been fully reinforced. And there you go. The AI just breaks. Perfect. Charge them down, boys. Charge them down. Everybody charge. Perfect stuff. We did lose a lot more men. So we, we tend to lose a lot more men when they run out of... When they get their reinforcements and we don't. Because we do, we do like too well. We are literally suffering from success. But we'll take it. Yeah, a lot of influence, a lot of uh, a lot of renown. Out of interest, like how close are we? I'm actually really interested to know how close we are. Um, and yeah, this is the Legatas as well. Nice. Yeah, we'll take it, really prisoner, just to minimise how oh, that helmet is so nice. We literally just captured like their entire army. Uh, you guys can go. 400 prisoners. My god. I wish I could have them all, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's one way to deal with the enemy army, right? Uh, cool. And we barely really even lost anything as well. Oh, yeah. The Eagle Rising armors are absolutely incredible. I oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much for War 1. If I do say so myself. Two trebuchet? Yeah, two, two will be enough, right? For now. And we're healing up and we should still be able to... Oh, yeah, obviously continue the siege. This is pre-us getting any food, though, so we probably do need to go grab some food as well. Obviously heal while wounded. Plenty who wounded. They, they shouldn't be able to go now deeper into our land. So after defeating my army, we should be all good. So yeah, I think we, we conquer this. We then return back to our settlement. We then grab a couple more soldiers. And we just go like city conquering. But luckily we can auto resolve this when I'm just waiting for my men to heal. And we might as well starve them out at this point. Uh, the auto resolve should be really kind to us though. Double breaches. They're going to lose like 100 men in a second. Or 865 men. Like they'll lose all this militia. Yeah, boom. Send the boys in. Lovely stuff. We lost 30 men. It's good, I'll take that. Billion more. Look how many prisoners we have. Oh my god. I'm just going to constantly keep recruiting these guys. Do I have a partner? What do you mean, CJ? Like in real life or in game? In real life, I'm getting married in a couple months. So that's why I really appreciate all the memberships. As we're closing in on 300 memberships, every membership goes towards help paying for the wedding. Uh, settlement is captured. I don't want it. Wait, who's died? Oh, one of our parties. Someone died? Someone did. Oh, no. I don't want to give any of these guys over because he's my medic and he's my scout. So, I guess it will disband. Uh, I don't want the settlement. In-game, then, no. Yeah, no, I'm not. I don't have any soldiers in-game, no. How big's the empire now? Yeah, pretty big. Look at that Dacian Civil War as well. It ripped through them. Uh, yeah, so we're in all of Italy now. Most of Southern Gaul. Pretty much all of Southern Gaul now. And I think we... Yeah, we return back here to resupply. And then we... Yeah, then we just go... We just go, like, into Paris. We just conquer these three, probably. Have we have enough time to conquer? It does put me at odds with, like, the people to the north. Like, the Gauls. And we haven't fought the ghouls once yet, so... I'm not massively looking forward to that, but it should be fine. I 
And then, and then we should be good to fight the Punic War on Friday. That's basically how I want to set this up. So we are ready for the Punic War on Friday. How do I change the Bannerlord version? Oh, is it on a different... No, I think it, the mod only just came out in February, right? So you should be fine, no? Um, but yeah, to change it, you just right-click on Bannerlord. Properties. Betas. Boom. Find whatever version you want. But isn't it, is it not 1.2.9? Okay, sorry. We came back here for a reason, right? Yeah, we came back here to grab some more men. Um, and also, like, grab up these parties. I guess we can get rid of a few of these smaller parties as well. Like, these soldiers really aren't doing anything. Yeah, something like that. So yeah, they'll hopefully go off and build up some troops. They desperately need it. Oh, he must have lost. Uh, yeah, he must have lost one of these guys. Lost a bunch of these dudes. Wow. I guess it was a pretty brutal battle we just fought, and that's one of the reasons why. Cool. So we should have a few more men now. Let's go to the tavern. We will recruit all the mercenaries, of course. Uh, recruit anyone else? Yeah, we can have a bunch more. So let's grab a few more from the garrison. All the Aquilas, we'll take those. Take the cavalry. Pretty nice. Boom. All right, let's go conquering some cities. So I think our first goal is probably to take Paris. Uh, that'll be a very nice city for us. We've got like 400 men on their way. Oh, food, 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 food. Let's go get some food. All right, see you later, Jack. Thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, I, I appreciate you being in the chat, dude. Have a good rest of your day. Check Discord. Oh, okay, Squiddy, just because you. Oh, no. Discord's doing that thing where it doesn't open. I need to go delete my preferences. Like, it'll literally do this and then just close. Oh, no, it worked. Huzzah. This is what it shows? Yeah, what's the problem? As in, you can't tick it? Oh, you might need, like, Harmony. Try down, like... Try download, like, Harmony and everything. Like, as in, like, it won't let you tick. Yeah, uh, you you probably need, like, the Harmony, Butterlib, and Mem mods. Um, try grab them, and then also unlock your DLLs. I assume you have, but unlock your DLLs. But yeah, ask him the Panther Ironhead, I'm sure, will be able to help you, like, um, way quicker than I can, and obviously whilst I'm streaming. Okay, they're sieging us again. Okay, let's go deal with this siege then. I want to go take Paris, but if they're attacking us here, that should be fine. Yeah, it might. you might need to... I mean, food! I forgot to buy bloody food again! <laughs> Goddamn Squiddy! Getting me off topic. <laughs> okay, we have another 247 men on their way. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably try it tonight as well. Um, see if I can get it working. Uh, thanks for looking into it, Squiddy. I appreciate that. Oh my god, don't you dare. 30 men. There's so few men here. 82, I'm on my way. Boom. Again, not really a battle we need to fight. I wouldn't mind the tactics experience as well. We're already way over our limit. No, we're not. Good, good, good. All 
All right, cool. That's like the last real army they have. Boom. Okay, cool. We have another 200 men on their way. Let's just go and siege Paris. Is that Paris? Oh, it's not even Paris, is it? Yeah, let's go. Let's go hit Paris because this is a bit like off in the off in the winds. Whereas this, is, like, I ideally want to take these two cities if I can. See you later, Squiddy. Have a good rest of your day, man. Sure, I'll see you on Friday. Cool. So let's head our way over. We hit Paris. We take Paris. We then go to Namatum. Over to the west. And we set ourselves up there. Yay, Dada boy! Thank you so much for becoming a brand new member, man. Helping us get that one step closer. We are now only five members away from 300. Really appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much. It's a great way to support the channel. Oh my god, we got an army coming as well. God's sake. This army, I don't even know where it's going to go, but it's still annoying me. Like, where, where could this army possibly go and siege with 200 men? I guess back up here, yeah. God damn it. How many times do I have to kill you? Literally. Thank you so much, Ray. I really do appreciate the new membership. Said it really does help out the channel, and I am very grateful. <laughs> I mean, you guys can just go. Get out of my face. I guess you replenished pretty much our entire army there. So many upgrades as well. Wow, 67. We are once again out of food. I don't understand how we keep on running out of food. We just need to... Yeah, I mean, I literally just need to go to one of these settlements and just buy everything we can. Let's go to these two and buy all the food. And now you're a member indeed. I really appreciate that. Yeah, no, seriously. Memberships is just such a great way to support the channel. You become a member for as little as $2. Or you get a cool banner next to your name. You get access to a private room with a Discord. And then there's only Discord. And you just... I just think of you as a, a better person. You know, for being a member. I'm joking. Of course. You are a senator now rather than a citizen. <laughs> Okay, so we want to buy... Yeah, we're here to buy as much food as physically possible. And then we're going to go siege Carthage. It's not Carthage, Paris. I'm literally going to buy it all. Because I feel like we are just running out of food so quickly. But I mean, I guess we do have a massive army. Like, I do have 500 troops eating. Okay, I mean, I guess we could also probably sell a bunch of our crap that we get have as well, yeah. Okay, I now have 1,300 food. That gives us 44 days of not having to worry about it. Let's go siege Paris. Uh, yeah, the... the, the uh, oh my god. They're sieging this again! With what? What could they possibly have to siege me? I've killed so many of their armies. I guess I should just leave a garrison there, but it's so annoying. Um, yeah, they have. They replaced the Sturgeons with the Germanic tribes. But I will warn you, they are the most annoying faction in the world. Because they just constantly attack you. Oh my god, how many times do you think we have to do this? I guess we should just leave a bit of a garrison here to stop that from happening. I mean, actually, that should, that should be enough. Yeah, they should have just given enough. No, only 91. That's not really too many. We should give over a little bit as well. Because I, I do... I, I will grant you guys that. I do do a lot of complaining about how they just constantly siege my settlements. But then I don't do anything to help them, you know? I don't then leave more men in the garrison. So let's just set by tier and give up all these low tiers. Uh, 
There you go. That's a 17-man garrison. But I should warn off a lot of the defenders. Okay. Okay. Now, let's go siege Paris. The war's going to be over before I can even do that, you know? Okay. We actually do need to be a little bit faster about it then. Yeah. We actually do need to be a little bit quicker. Yeah, but they just... Yeah, I mean, I 100% agree. Taking them prisoner is a good way of doing it. But then they do just go in... They do just, like, literally escape within days anyway, so... How does that guy have 250 men? There's a 500-man army here! It's been a while. How are you guys mustering so much? Again, we don't need to fight this one. We literally lost nothing. Wow, that auto resolve was kind to me. I mean, I think as well, we are just literally recruiting soldiers as we go. Okay, the Rome 2 music is about to be done. Let's go to some Medieval. I haven't listened to Medieval, the Medieval 2 soundtrack in a while. Okay, how, how about this as well? What do you guys think? So fr on fr Friday's stream, we're going to be Punic warring it up, right? How about... And we'll pin this guy into the corner as well. How about we do a little bit of a hot sauce challenge on Friday as well if we hit like, I don't know, like 320 members or something? That sound like a good time? I haven't done... A oh my God, he's going to literally escape me. Oh my God, he literally escaped. I never want to see you again come back for more is he is he gonna come he's gonna come back for more it's mugging me off well, you're not escaping now old man so yeah does that sound interesting because i haven't done the hot ones hot sauces in a long time kind of almost forgotten what they taste like as they burn and eviscerate my mouth So yeah, depending on what the member count is on, on Friday. Uh, yeah, Paris. Let's go to Paris. Depending on what... Oh, no. They're going to peace out before we can even do that. I can decline it, but I can decline it, yeah. Because our walk exhaustion isn't good. I at least want to take Paris from them. Has it, and everybody else is really isn't building up an army. Boom, boom. Yeah, I've, I've been training all this time, right? I've been training all this time to prepare myself. And now the hot sauce is nothing to me. Okay, let's get this behind. But well, I think that'd be fun. Or we could maybe even just do like every time I die. Oh, I'm just not going to die. I'm too much of a pro gamer. You heading out now, Java? All right, see you later, man. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. It's been a great stream today. Um, and that's all down to you guys. It's been awesome in chat. So yeah, make sure uh, if you can, uh, we'll be live again on Friday. Uh, once this one wraps up, we're still going though. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll be streaming again on Friday, um, and that'll be the Punic War. The first war against Carthage. It's going to be fun. <laughs> it's like in The Simpsons, Black Wolf, where Homer covers his mouth in wax. That's what I'll be doing. God, I, I haven't got the hot sauces out for so long as well. They've been in my, They've been in my cupboard for so long. Hey, how's it going, Sildor? Welcome. How you doing? Speaking of which, yeah, the next episode. So I'm going to record the next episode of the uh, Realms in Exiles mod tomorrow, I think. So the final destroying Mordor uh, will be that episode. But I'm not sure what I do. I think I might go and take a look at the dwarfs. Try and do the dwarfs. And I think I might just try and make that like one episode. Yeah, 
We'll decline this until the settlement has been taken. Dacia lost their civil war as well. Wow. Come on. Give us a breach, Precious. Give us a breach. We have a breach. I'll wait till daytime. Okay, let's go. Uh, we could have two. Uh, I like only having one. Let's make it a little bit harder. Leave the assault then, boys. Pull them swords out. There's always something about the... I mean, like... I will, I will say that, like, the... The Empire settlements are really cool, for sure. But I feel like there's just something... Oh, you guys were over here as well. No, you guys get over here as well. I feel like there's just something about the Vlandian settlements, which is just so much cooler. Uh, you guys will hold your fire as well. I don't want you guys wasting your javelins. I mean, it's mainly just militia in Paris. Boy, boys, let's get your asses up here. If I get these guys in a column, I wonder if that's going to make them easier to fight. Yeah, it might do. Let's, let's try. Literally, I don't know if anybody has ever used this formation once in their life. Oh, no, that just, that's probably why. Because, like, what the hell is that? You guys are in a column. That does not look like a column. What the hell is this supposed to be, boys? Come on. God, the AI has really, has really annoyed me this series. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's just go through. Charge through. Firewood as well. Throw your peelum as well. My God, look at all them javelins. What a waste. What a waste of javelins. Look at them fly. Yeah, how's it going, Greek? How you doing today? Okay, the right flank is going okay. A lot of the Pelham over here are doing a great job at, like, arcing over and hitting someone. Yeah, but they just don't have the defenses. The militia are so much weaker. And we're already pushing out pretty nicely, honestly. Yeah, I'm doing good, thank you. I'm doing good. We had a pretty good stream uh, today. Carl gifted 10 gifted members. Brought us pretty close to uh, to our, our goal in the top left-hand corner. You can see 295 out of 300. It's pretty awesome. And I think on Friday, we're going to do a, a hot sauce challenge stream as well. If we hit our membership goal. Or maybe I'll do like every gifted member. I do a hot sauce or something along the lines. I don't know. That's not a bad one. Maybe every... Every gifted member I, I do, every, like, couple gifted members, I go up in a hot sauce. We free yet? Nice, we're free. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get, get, our, get up here. Ride around. Yeah, we'll ride around. Help them out. And, yeah, Friday, Friday stream, we're going to do a Punic War, so that's going to be pretty good. It'll be our first proper war against Carthage. We're still actually struggling over on that side. Let's go deal with some of these archers so they can't shoot up. Well, there's only, there's only 10, 10 levels, right? So that ain't too bad, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I need to think of like a, a reasonable goal because obviously I want to I wanna reach the, the max limit. So I don't want to make it too crazy. But there is only 10, unfortunately. Nice, cool. So Paris is ours. Music, listen to the men cheer. Huzzah! 
Uh, cool. I mean, the war's over after this. So we might as well just let them go. Let's upgrade everyone. Let's recruit everybody we can to help fill out our ranks. This is a normal British dinner. True that. True that. Okay, cool. So, the war is won now. So, I think now what we do... Now what we do... And we have another army here as well. Good. Um, is we accept the end of the war, of course. We disband this army and we basically just let everybody build up their forces again. You know, we just deal with these. We're at war. Suck it. Don't need slash one any of your goods. Rami's doing good stuff over there. And we just accept the first, like, peace offer we get, which should be in a second. I feel like that's not a bad... Like, again, oh, they lost that. Oh, they were... Okay, they're also fighting the, the ghouls as well. Okay. So we're scarier. Um, oh, my God. I actually have, like, the odds to take it. No, I'm fine. Let's give it to Squiddy. This is Squiddy's clan, so... Are you a general or independent? We're independent, Starbrick. We went independent a while ago. Uh, we fought We fought a very fun civil war for it, though. It was a very close back and forth battle. Uh, and we managed to take Rome and everything. Okay, cool. So let's peace out. Boom. Cool. So we're now at peace. So yeah, I think now we just let everybody like build up their armies for like a couple, like a week or so. And then it's War of Carthage. I mean, obviously, I also need to build up my army as well. As well, like I, I, I can't just let my army sit idly by. You know, there's a lot of good soldiers in these these garrisons as well. You know, um, so let's let's grab some to begin with. I think all the cavalry, we like more sacred band would be called as well. Not gonna lie. I'll get rid of the Germanic soldier. Yeah, I mean, my my core block now, like, I'm having to leave 109 of these amazing soldiers behind. How crazy is that? Yeah, I mean, my army is incredible now. Holy. No, stop declaring war on people. I refuse, okay? I refuse to declare war. These people are so bloodthirsty. Let's drop a save as well. Punic War. I'll make sure as well to put the entire playlist if you guys are like, oh, this series looks pretty cool. Um, I'll put the entire playlist down below uh, after uh, the stream's done so you guys can check it out for yourself. If, you, if there's any episodes you missed or anything. Uh, we should probably also go buy some more food as well. Just make sure we're stockpiled. Yeah, no, I'm saying no. I'm spending 800 influence to say no, but I don't want to fight them. I want to fight Carthage, okay? Luckily, we have like infinite influence so yeah and speaking of which are we almost like yeah we're at five thousand renowned how crazy is it that it's taken that long to get here man it's insane um any companions no oh we don't need those yet sorry we just took some more men for no reason there um what did i just take these guys yeah boom How our army's looking across the board. I mean, still, like, a lot of these guys are still needing to replenish, but they're getting there. Because once we're fully, like, once we're fully stocked up on soldiers, we are going to be unstoppable. Uh, we actually also have a focus point. I guess we just keep on leveling up tactics. Like, riding is still going up, so I think we just... Do you have corruption turned off? I don't know what corruption means. What does that mean? You talking about the, the the main campaign? Oh yeah, we have four million gold as well. Like we're infinitely rich. But at this point, that doesn't really do anything. Like you can get some more lords to join you, but we don't really need more lords to join us. Like at this point in the campaign, I don't think anybody can stop me. Oh my god, these poor guys as well. 
Oh my god, this guy looks dope, bro. I might actually take a screenshot of him. He looks so cool. Yeah, the Swaby are declaring war. The, the Black Romans are done for, for sure. And yeah, only really Carthage, I think, can... Carthage has a lot of soldiers, but still a little bit less than us. Um, yeah. Carthage. If we look down everybody's armies... Some of the Eastern factions have a couple men, but I don't really plan on fighting them. Yeah, I mean, the Blue Romans are non-existent. The Red Romans are literally non-existent. The Germanics somehow still have 8,000 men. Don't know how. So yeah, it's really just Carthage who stands in our way. Uh, yeah, I think it is the... I think that is when you have too many thieves. Uh, yeah, Diplomacy Mod does that. Oh, it's dark. Why is it dark? No, I want to take a screenshot of him. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think that's where we're, we're going to wrap up the stream. Is that kind of a good point? I don't want the AI to declare war on anybody. So I think we are just going to call the stream there. Um, next to, you know, where we're, we're literally ready to declare war on Carthage. Um, yeah. So yeah, Friday stream. Friday stream will be the Punic War. By then, everybody should be, like, stocked up. Every, yeah, everybody should be able to recruit. I hope. Because this will be a very... This will be a massive, massive war. Because we're going to be fighting... Uh, we'll be fighting in Spain. Probably going to be fighting in Carthage. I think I... I'm not sure what I do first. I'm not sure if I, I try and take them in, in... I'm not sure if I try and push on Carthage in, in Africa... Or if we fight in Spain. I think we're going to probably fight in Spain first. And maybe try and take a few of these settlements. Because that's probably where they're going to push us. And they, they obviously own all of the southern Spain as well. What time? It'll be 3pm BST now. We're BST in the UK. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Today's stream was great. So many awesome people in the chat. If you haven't already, uh, before you head out, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like. Um, yeah, what time? We'll be 3pm 3, 3 BST, so UK time. Uh, is when it'll be live. I'll make sure as well that I put up a... Um, I put up like a starting in three hours type of thing. Um, but yeah, so we'll also do a hot sauce challenge as well. Uh, on, I think I'll commit to it now by saying it. We'll do hot sauces for every gifted... Well, for all gifted members um, as well as we continue on. So I need to go buy some nugs as well for that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support today. Uh, don't know what I'm going to be uploading tomorrow, actually. It might be a sponsored video, um, or it might not be. Uh, it depends if they say it's good to go or not. Uh, but either way, uh, I really appreciate all the support uh, on the channel. You guys are amazing. Watching and commenting on all the videos helps out so much. Goes such a long, long way. And I am very, very grateful to all the support. Uh, you know, you guys have been, you guys are amazing. You guys have a lifeblood of the channel. And I really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, everybody have a good, great rest of your Wednesday. Have a great Thursday. And I'll see you guys hopefully back here 3 p.m. for the next installment. The first uh, of hopefully many Punic Wars. Uh, cool. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.